is laid on with pulp and pulp in place. Yeah, so now it's going to be scenery. <laughs> Now, to get the link. Need something, Karen? Or are you just taking a minute? Yeah. Shoulder or side? Or back, I mean. Which, yeah, you're still in your... You were wincing earlier. Oh, that's not good. That's not what I I meant to get, though. Share. Here we go. Hey Tom, I'm gonna thumbs up the uh, two drunk and half. What was that? Oh. Do it. Topic rampancy. I will also not be playing two drums at. Ah. Now we're live, Cash. Not that I'm at Let's take Navigator 6, man. <laughs> Ah, the good old days. That sadly people still use. I pulled all my pages with that escape. What was the, remember they had an HTML? Editor, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't even remember what it was called. Yeah. It was, actually, I think that is the first thing I got to do. I was uh, hacking uh, PBS's code because they had the coolest stuff out at the time. I got my first rollover graphics from that website. It's really sad. <laughs> it's really, really sad. There she goes. Got to tighten it back up again. Just a bit. Big hit, you know. Some say it could be worse. Could be my brother. I don't know if anybody noticed it. Wow. New I put Mr. Bones from the Halloween contest. Yeah, I did see that. That is fantastic. Thank you. <laughs> he's uh he's right here. Out of my way where I can't knock him over because I'm having one of those days. <laughs> Better safe than sorry, folks. Better safe than sorry. Or the state of being in my <laughs> my day to day. Take care, you can two-finger in if you want. 
I might have to because I'm kind of. Do the ogre. Do what? Do the ogre over there. I gotta eat stuff. Okay. Hour. If you say so. Let's drop that too. <laughs> <laughs> That was uncalled for. And if anybody's interested, I have my photo studio with me. If you'd like to have your stuff pictured afterwards. Cool. Also, anybody have issues when you're taking pictures of people and putting it online? No. Okay. I know Eric does, but. <laughs> Good mic. Good mic. I, I have to say, your Facebook page has been lighting up with the uh, this pickup games pictures for certain people, so I, you can't complain. That camera she uses you can't that makes me look so fat. I mean, I'm going right. to go with the football pants make you look so fat. <laughs> or the guy taking those and you wearing those. <laughs> Hey, give me a smile over here. Look at that's cheesy. I love it. <laughs> oh, we have glass goggles on. Have a look up. There you go. Perfect. Awesome. Look at the other table. Be focused. It's up to you. Thanks, guys. I'll take more later, probably. Trying to get more people to come. We don't have to find out more spots to put people. Be the today. I know. I asked. Too busy moving all her stuff. Yeah, well, I guess we're moving around now, so she gets so I can't <laughs> complain, honestly. Anybody wants any interesting base materials? I have some leftover dust. I think it's a little bit smart. I don't like the lay down here, so. Uh, I like them. It's good for job that sort of stuff. I keep my stuff standing up uh, when I'm at home in the studio. But yeah, these. What's that? Oh, oh, I'm these. trying to get Brian Wade to uh, those <coughs> useless Kickstarter cases from the first Kickstarter. <laughs> um, I'm sure, if you're running back in enough. He says he's got Brian Wade from Outriders. Says he's got this style that fits the kicks the first Kickstarter cases. Yeah. Yes. yes. <laughs> They're not on his website. No, he keeps saying, oh, yeah, now get those up. Yeah, he and I emailed something. him, Not helpful and I'm then. saying, I will <laughs> buy one. Send it to I have dollars you can have in exchange for the things that you have sitting around to sell. that are not dollars. <laughs> Hello? Is this thing on? Hello. Oh, wait, I, don't, I almost sat in front of them. <laughs> you have a two-foot? Eight. Uh, they're actually eight in uh, the tin. You have to mix them through there. Some of them are the... Uh, uh, odd uh, double pronged ones. Don't ask me why. Now I know you're trying to start your own project, Tom, but you want to help me figure out how to base my. Yeah. That's what I'm here for. Way too small. It is. Yeah. This one you can put as many pieces as you want. I just brought the single I'm, one. I'm done with what I got. I need a freaking book. Yeah. <laughs> I like your. Thing. It's a freaking book box. Hello. What would you like your elf on? Oh, look at this, though. Earthquake. You're screwed. Okay, so basic base with uh, other stuff. With, uh, you know, I figure since I already have the, the shelf or the other one. Yeah. If you can do something that size, at least it can fit in more than. I've been trying to limit myself to one project's worth of paints in this case. Oh, for sure. But it doesn't work because now I have, like, my NMM here, and then I've got. Uh, Eric Schubert's so browns yeah. that he uses. Then I've got my new NMM steels over here, and now I'm out of room. So it's easy to run over, especially if you keep the triads. And I have almost the entire run of 
I have the whole thing. I have a little over, what is it? Uh, it's the old 9091s, 92s. I bought the four box set when yeah. it first came through, and I've been adding to it. I bought the uh, uh, build your own around the stuff that was in the learn to paint kits and the Kickstarter stuff. Right. You know, so I didn't get any more duplicates. And then uh, I bought the second set. You know, the big like, plain old box set. Yeah. And then the HDs. It's nice to have the, the selection of hands if you want to it is. A lot of it, though, is you can mix yourself. Yeah. It's Yeah. All right, that's where I originally got them. Well, let's give you an idea of how to mix them. Yeah, so yeah. Now I have you get used to idea. a certain color in your... Yeah. This is the worst. Who can put oh, some rocks on it? <laughs> Sand and dirty. She continues to find ways to vaccinate it. Well, it's... You know, how do you pin that to paint? It's just sitting on the four little... So I glued it, but then it came off. And yeah. Well, the double sided tape looks pretty good. But yeah, it was on the shop unless this was going to be... Are you done with the paint? So uh, I don't believe we were formally introduced. Oh, Kevin, I'm mini cannot help me out for. Oh, excellent. Uh, you're from Canada? Canada, eh? and yeah. you're here. Yeah, we took a long turn, so we just thought, hey, we'll paint. Yeah, I'm from down the uh, Rust Belt a little ways. Here. Oh, okay. I'm from Cash Wiley. Okay, cool. Derek, but I go by Cash, too. Yeah. So my non de music, so I've been <laughs> Cash for years. Um, and that makes me Dan. And that would make you Dan. And like Michelle. And Michelle. Hello, and like Michelle. Now. Is on the web, Is this on this camera? Or why do we have this camera? What's this camera going to? He's got multiple cameras here. Boys in the end. It's the wonders of games and gears. <laughs> the lack there. Oh, the, that's about the only good thing. <laughs> it's cool, but it's the cheesiest quality. Yeah. Does, that, does even that not work right? It's it's poor quality, but it works. It works. And the thing that, that annoys me is they said quality, speed, and price. It's yeah. like quality is one of those three things. Right. And every time you would call them on, they'd be like, well, oh, all these people are saying it's great. It's like. But they're not. But I've only had, oh, we've only had 33. 31. 31? 31. Well, I figured you and I were 33. <laughs> well, <laughs> so, yeah, they sent me a whole, they didn't send me everything I ordered. They didn't send me these little short handle ones, but they sent me dupes of all the other ones. So by the time you break it down in price to that, it's like, oh, all right. They did, they sent us stuff we didn't order. They say it does an extra something. I, I don't know their business model, but uh, I've got some nice blue brushes. <laughs> I tried to dry brush with this one. It foams. So, yeah, less than please. Oh, is this on the internet? Oh, geez, I should watch what I say about how much these like. 
Am I going to have an outlet over here? Or we all uh, yeah, right here, right here. Uh, I'm going to have to take the crossover. That's nice. So, we're not about this one. Okay. Right right here. Here. Right. What's with the multiple cameras here? Huh? The one, the one that's on top of the TV sucks. That's not being cute. It seems like we're on the one with the light. And why is that over here? It's plugged into that. Okay. Hmm. It seems like if I go like this. Oh, maybe it is that one. Maybe it didn't run the other one. That one. Yeah. That's kind of cool. Is that in 3D? Look at this. <laughs> it is yes, now. Oh. <laughs> A or no. B? Again, A, B. Which is clearer? A. A is apparently just providing light right now. Yeah. Um, um, I can go through the middle if you give me a second. Um, it's up to you. I don't think I'm going to bother us. There you go. I'm used to messy wiring. I work in RT. Is it plugged in? It works properly. Uh, I believe so. Ta da! <laughs> Something got right over here. Hello! Hey. Oh crap, now I see what I'm doing. Yeah. I was gonna say I'm closer to Jen over here, except she's got the the lamp a little further away than I. I like to be like. Well, this is my travel lamp, so you know, gotta make adjustments. Yeah, <laughs> I I get right underneath the thing. But at least I moved to CFL when I had the incandescence; the paint would dry off so quick. Yeah. <laughs> Even right underneath. Like underneath you Yeah, <laughs> literally. I was just telling uh, Ben earlier, like I have uh, the dehumidifier in the basement, and I have the or, not, or in the summer when I was in the I came upstairs one night because Jen was my Jen was sick, and uh, went to the bedroom and did it, and the AC dried out my paint within seconds. <laughs> well, I was I was just sitting there, I started painting, and I'm like all of a sudden it's dry, man. <laughs> Guess I better put some water. And then this time of year I have the, the wood stove that sits from about me to Dan. Not even not even that far. So everything dries right out. But on the bright side, that's a comfy source. I have a den that's on the far side of the house and it's freezing. So last winter I moved into the living room, I paint on the coffee table, which I'm, I paint like this. <laughs> yeah. So it's not the best thing my foot on the coffee table and a mouse scrunched it <laughs> under the light. Yeah. But with the wood stove versus freezing is this is my living room painting. This is how I do it in the couch. Yeah, I have a mask in the stance yet. This is this is a shelf. You have to have a shelf. Yes. I'm still building. You don't have a shelf. You can't paint like this. building it. <laughs> Getting there. Because if you have the right belly, you can also set the water on you and keep it balanced. <laughs> Which one's the well, you just remember to move it before you move. What kind of arrangements? Yeah. The water. Well, don't you have a sink? Yeah. It's up to you. I just was using. Oh, yeah. Something yeah. mad at me, man. What? Huh? More? Yes. Thank you, sir. Yep. Workouts, man. It was noted. I went to the same concert, okay? <laughs> I've been mean, happy to two more cents. <laughs> this is true. I'm not saying that I'm diehard. I, I, my next concert will actually be a show by Alton Brown, so. Oh, really? Yeah, he's coming. Yeah, I know we got to figure that. I don't have money at the moment, so. I want to see. Uh, Bill Myers, he's a, uh, 
Yeah, Alton was at uh, Syracuse in February, like three, or no, uh, a week before my son's birthday. He and I love him. So. There you go. Anybody else want a cash built wet pallet? I have two extra plates. <laughs> I just used a little one. Yeah. This was a case for my phone. A case for my case for my phone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> like a bad relative situation. I just had a bad towel. Silly DNA. <laughs> Is it silly DNA? Either done two figures or I have to watch TV. Because <laughs> otherwise, waiting for paint to dry is like, you know, waiting for paint to dry. So. Oh. Yeah, I don't have a TV in my basement. It's probably a good thing. But I get more done. <laughs> but I also have lots of mobile devices. So <laughs> and this is. This, this thing, this thing by itself is big enough to watch movies on. So, uh, I, and I have done it before. Uh, it's the Samsung Note 2, and the Note 3 is slightly larger. <laughs> is that the uh, your phone that I saw on line? Yes. Cool. <laughs> yeah, how did the I'm having fun with it. Uh, I was I don't know if you saw the mushroom over on the table. Yes. That's uh sculpting and green stuff. So oh, nice. There's nothing else to it. Uh, well maybe a toothpick. <laughs> <laughs> and the and the and the and the base. But no, I was uh, I like the idea of just being able to make something cool out of out of nothing. And I even brought some on it. Huh? You can put it on you saw a on it. Well, yeah, my uh, my intent is to make a bunch of uh, mushroom style ropers. Because <laughs> the way that came out and, and whatnot, it looks like he has uh, tentacles laying on the ground next to him. So I made another one that actually has him moving. But 
I made it, and it looks like kung fu mushroom. So I said, I got to start over. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm using cephalopods like a uh, uh, squid, a yeah. long one with a big, uh, wide hand almost at the end. And uh, I, when I put it together, it was just in the wrong spot. I had it going in straight as opposed to coming down and out, right. like a tentacle beast would have from underneath the cap. And, I, and when I looked at it, he was like this. And I'm like, that's just weird. <laughs> we are! And now I can make a cartoon <laughs> and do a webisode of some sort, but I figured out I'll just start over. The cap came out nice. I'm really happy with that. And the stem is bad. I just have to redo the wire work for the tentacles because it just looks odd. Yeah. It really does. It's just coming out the side of, his, of, the, of the cap straight out like it's a pair of shoulders. And I'm like, no, nah, it's just weird. <laughs> I want to do it more like a, a, an actual tentacle beast, which would have it coming straight down off the un, up under the cap, and then arc out up from underneath. It'll look cooler. I think so. So. Well, who's to say what's right or wrong? I mean, it's a no, and, and, and that's the thing. It's a completely made up creature in a sense. So, but the it really looked too much like uh, a kung fu mushroom, mushroom. So I I can't really go there. <laughs> This is coming from the same person who drew, drew like, uh, for you. oh, I, I, I've i drawn weirder in my day, but uh, I, I did for uh, our college, uh, junior college up here in Auburn, is a uh, the Spartans. So for a comic book for the newspaper, I created the, the Spartan helmet, which is just a helmet with arms and legs and eyes. And uh, his, uh, his uh, nemesis is a wizard's hat, like Gandalf, but with arms, legs, and eyes. <laughs> So, yeah, I've drawn some weird stuff in my day. What's that? Turning you back. Oh. <laughs> You're looking for a good green. That's all you sound. Exactly. Yeah, sound shake bad. it up good though, because it turns like bluish, yellow, unmixed. Yeah, that's why you sound. The only thing I didn't like, the only thing I didn't like about that. But it was it was integral to remaking the Hulk mix, which was hard <laughs> enough. Still debating what to do, yellow on Thanos. I have a surprise ending for the uh, Marvel Golems. Oh yeah. Yeah. I have a I have a, a seventh member who is uh, much larger and going to be uh, well, just... Hulk Buster. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know who that is. Uh, Iron Man's Hulk Buster. Oh, nice. Uh, it's significantly larger than these fellows. And it's going to be a, uh, yeah. <laughs> so the colors, right? The, 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 the color's perfect, because I recognized it immediately. Yeah. Eric would tell you probably what model it is. <laughs> I had to go to the neighbor's house. Take notes. And, yeah. he's, doing, he's, doing the zombie, he's doing the zombie survivor game. And, uh, the one no, no, according to Kina, they're easier to start. <laughs> My friend's house wearing the games. Nice. And, of course, he painted her like Flo from Alice. So. Yeah. Okay. Well, you know, these games are kind of cheesy. <laughs> well, they do a lot of tribute characters, and that one really was kind of generic. So. Right. <sighs> I'm half tempted to speed paint some skeletons. <laughs> Just to get going. <laughs> I know. I was looking at him yesterday. I have one too. Mine's in, my, uh, mine's in the metal. Battle Pro over there. Blue. What's that? Yeah, I got the super boost. Uh, yeah, they're on my uh, desk. I was repairing the uh, diorama that decided to dump. Right. Thanks for reminding me. <laughs> hey, Tom, look at your diorama over here, dump. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like a dump of a diorama. I got it. Eh. I I hope to finish that one so that I can move on to my grand scheme one, which is uh, the dragon coming out of the dark well on a courtyard of the uh, ruins. Oh, nice. Uh, it'll be uh, half a black dragon inside the well uh, with the uh, it'll. Uh, I'm I'm pretty sure I'm pulling from a Dragonlance first first book. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the big black yeah, yeah. Out of the well. Well yeah. I have uh, styrene for the uh, 
for the blocks on the, around it. I'm going to build the well on uh, uh, combination green stuff, maybe some sculpey. It'll be cracked. I have it drawn out on a large map at home. Uh, there's a crack running through the, the uh, courtyard that uh, breaks at the well. And uh, so there'll be uh, bracken water around it and stuff like that. And uh, I can put adventures around it when, when I'm done. Yeah, it's just, it's been sitting in the back of my head for like five years now. I got, I bought the styrene specifically for that. I'm looking forward to the uh, happy spooky uh, texture. Uh, I wish I had gotten in on that one. Uh, yeah. Texture stuff. Well, it's supposed to be in this month, I think. Why? Seriously, looking forward to it. Yeah, it should be uh, this, the, the, the stuff that they have already was it was insane. Uh, this is my first time with any of their stuff. I got the whole set. Yeah. I had to be able somewhere. What's that? It's on the yeah. other side of the wall. Yeah, I hate making bases. I hate doing it. Why did I not make a thing that makes it easy to make bases? I don't uh, mind, because I'm, I'm getting into uh, silicone and resin casting right now. It's been fun. It's kind of basic. It's been easier than I thought it would be, too. This sand here is just play sand there. Tipped over the dog. The like dog was laying in the middle of the room. Mm. I watched she it too. Had a, she had a laptop like that and just 
And they went right on the spine. And I went, ooh, like this. Oh, yeah, yeah. it's not that good. My mother has repaired it, though, amazingly. She yeah. replaced the monitor. And that was all. It, it shattered right in the middle of the, right in the middle of the bottom of the screen. Yeah. And uh, just spidered out from there and was toast at that point. And then uh, she took it apart and put it back together for uh, what seventy dollars was it? Yeah. Nice. Three dollars. So she now has a laptop. So. Giving came with directions on how to do it. I decided to do the wizard man some more. I thought I'm going to play him again. Oh. Yes. Can I just put this over here? How much? What was it? It was 10. Like 10 bucks? All right. Oh. Not up for it. It's not going all the way. Yeah. Oh, that's a great time. Hmm? I know, it just wasn't plugged in all the way. Bob was. <laughs> No, With all this water around and stuff, and I, already, I already dipped the end of one of my USB cords in one. Oh, is that a shadow scene? What's that? Is that a shadow scene? This? Yeah. It's a Ralph Arthur Lizardman mm -hmm. with a, uh, a fishing hook uh, replacing the shaft of the uh, short sword that he had <laughs> <laughs> to make it a spear. Yeah, that's great. The the, that's, it, that's it, cool. I think it made it look better as a figure, too, because it really was... It was a short sword for yeah. a lizard man. It just looked weird. Yeah, you think you'd have a spear but so you could be Now he's got a short spear with the, or almost a harpoon. Yeah, yeah, that's much better. So, yeah. and then custom basing. And actually, this is, he still uses the integral base with sand and stuff. Yeah. Which, yeah. That's where I usually reside. So I. Maybe. Still debating with the paint. <laughs> Don't know. Thanos is not doing it for me. It's like the even though he's the most voted for, it just really is. I'm not going into him. No. I don't know. I just. Oh, he didn't have shields on yet, though. That's fine. Yeah, I know. I'm debating. <laughs> it's one of those. Eh, the day started off interesting, and I don't know if I want to continue. <laughs> My dilemma is. I brought the paints to do her base like that. Right. But I wanted her to be in the diner. I got it. Yeah, but now I got to think. Got the little carnage. I, I definitely need. Uh, you have the blood red. Okay. And right. uh, amusingly, this brown it's liner is blood. very red. It's pretty close. Is that from the Kickstarter? Yeah. You have to try it. Uh, did blood come with the pot? Okay. It was a uh, slotted. I do. Like a real dark. I do. So it would be perfect for this. Uh, uh, blood right here. I have. I don't keep a charge on them. Uh, yeah, see, I keep it. Yeah, I have, a, I have a fresh blood here. I have a deep red and a blood red. And red. Did you bring the full triad of the one from the third round last Oh, I have no idea, Sam. See what we have. Some red. And we solve the dilemma. Uh, maybe you should make a piece of that. I'll show you that. Yeah, that's what it is. 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 Yeah, see, I've got a lot of, when I ordered the, the batch, it was a bad thermal print batch. So I'd yeah, say a good order of the Came like that? Yeah, came, came like that. Because they been, wear off eventually. See, I've been going through. It's all supported grades. That's good. Yeah. Oh. She disagreed with me, so we well, that sucks.
I will now spend the next hour trying to figure out what colors I'm going to use. Well, that's what I was doing sitting here, and Tom's like, You all right? I'm like, Yeah, sing it. Does it take some time? I honestly spend about as much time as it takes me to paint a minute to just plotting it out. I'm either way. Zoom reference. I work at a library, so. I think I find it really useful. Um, my friend's wife uh, was had Pinterest open at the house where I was over, and just finding photos and just tossing them in there for inspiration. Yep. And they're really doing all for me. Not that was the intent. Yeah, I have a, an inspiration folder that's subdivided into textures and different kinds of cloth and different yeah. kinds of metals and exactly. both painted examples. I'm going to edge away from you now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> As well as you should. Yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> I'll try that. But I don't do this every day. I can only spurt. I think a lot, then I won't paint. I'll look up something else. I play guitar too, so right now Rocksmith is. They just released an Iron Maiden pack last week, and that's been killing me. Yeah, I still have any performances lined up right now. So. What kind of performances? Well, I used to be in a rock band, but I've been mostly been doing. Um, I do stand up and I do um, convention work. So I'll do performances that way, like MC and sing for those things. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, that's, uh, yeah, it sounds much more the same. <laughs> same. Uh, Pick up a little bit of money here. Now. It's Very well. Band was fun, but we did covers. There's no one to listen to the original stuff when you go to a bar. You know, just after a while, there's always so many times you can sing a song, or you just want to just gouge your eyes out. Yeah, I just especially when you force it at night where you have the first bring up the drum friend. Yeah, she never heard it when you sang it earlier. She just died here. Can you do that one again? No. No. <laughs> This is for the parking lot. Yeah. Remember when you play that song? Well, the bar owner goes, oh, I weren't paying you. It works. I mean, I've done pretty well. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's original stuff. So uh, it's fun, but they, I grew up in my people want when they go to bars, they want the stuff that they want to they already know the words to. Well, I mean, throw a few covers in. But oh, I, I like covers. There's a lot of fun yeah, stuff. Yeah, and they could change them around anyway. Especially like the artist in England, too. Sure. But then you change it around, and people are like, "Why don't you play like the record, man?" Uh, that's not how it goes. I, that's a theme. But I grew up with my stepfather was a big fan. Oh, you know, and they had their own music and stuff. Yeah. So I guess I'm. Not normal. No. <laughs> I was in an all original rock band. My now my um, daughter and her, my nephew, they're like really close. Actually, yeah. they live together, so really close. But their um his friends have a band, and they're doing really well around here. Oh, fantastic. So yeah, and they're now business. they're only playing. They're not playing any covers. They're only playing that stuff. But they're filling the. It's work. It's like, the, I don't know. Do you guys, do you guys still have union halls here at all, or is it just whatever you're lucky to get paid? Like if, when I was doing it, like mine was in the late '90s. Now there were still union things where you got paid for sure, like a contract. Now people, you can't compete now because everyone's still, hey, our band will play for free. Okay. 
Yeah. We're done. Yeah, we were underground. We played just parties uh -huh. and private gigs. We didn't play any bars or anything. We hated that scene. The, the competitiveness. Because we're all very open, you know. Well, like I am on the forums with painting, you know, that's the way I am with music. You know, I want people, everyone to be, you know, I'm not a hippie, but, you know, let's all get together and learn from each other and get better, and then the whole music seems better. You can only play one place one night. Yeah. You know, there's enough places that everyone can go out and play. You know, if it was a tighter market, that would be one thing. Right. So I said, we do our own thing with our own people. Mm -hmm. So I was impressed at how well this is yeah. doing. They're playing all over the field right now. Yeah. 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 Back off and I'll do my thing. Mm -hmm. It's nice because it gives you a range of I cool versions. I bought some. I got some. Yeah. Would you like to use? Gotta have the. I know. He said he's got your glass one out for you so you can yeah. use your clinks. <laughs> it's part of the tradition. Old school. Because if you're not using your mother's china. <laughs> <laughs> this is. Uh, Mama killed you. <laughs> Sonny got the head from the set that she found, and I started using it for painting. She just said, all right, go take them. Can't get the walnut black out of it. You can add it. I have no idea what I want to do with it anymore. It was so long ago. <laughs> <laughs> I love the fact that you managed to blur yourself out. <laughs> <laughs> We're protecting Cash's identity. <laughs> I'm in witless protection program. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Name that movie. Oh, witless protection. Was there one? Yeah. Uh, I'm just making that Uh Blair the cable guy. There you go. I, listen, I don't care who you are. That guy's fun. Oh, I have no issue with him, funny wise. No, that's a long career. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like I wish you would come around here instead of we get that Jeff Dunham guy with the puppets. I liked him for a while. He's gotten worse since he got divorced. You get the you get the <laughs> here's your sign a guy. Edge to him now, he? <laughs> Maybe I should go see him now. Maybe I don't like No, it, I, it, I I think he's got the thing is I think he's gotten away from Walter, who is probably the funniest sort of peanut. Yeah, he's probably tired of it. And. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I think bringing in Akeem was, or whatever his name is, Ahmed. Oh, yeah. Ahmed. Ahmed uh, was a little, little too much. Because he's become like the focus. Yeah. Did anybody see the show he did for Sci-Fi for a little while, where he did like a skit each week for 30 minutes? Oh, it was horrible. It was awful. <laughs> it was absolutely awful. Because the pimp puppets and all. Oh, that was yeah. That was trying too hard. Yeah, the painting take was awesome. They, uh, was it Shannon, Brian's wife? Yeah. She sent uh, us all those figures, which included a Minotaur, which is in that my, uh, my uh, friend, yeah, Eric's wife did, just in that jar of her. Uh, started in. And uh, the, all the instruction little kits, their booklets, and uh, 10 uh, paints. Oh, yeah. nice. For free. I mean, yeah, they're awesome. No, no, you know, requiring you to prove you're a group of people or whatever, or that you have a venue or anything like that. Mostly, we were five people when I when we did this last time, so I don't know if that counts for their normal pay and take crowd. <laughs> hey, it's a start, though, right? Yeah, that's all that matters. Really, two first time painters. I mean, that's yeah. the whole point. Anne's not a first time. She's a ringer. She's a. She was yeah. serious. My, my, wife, my wife does ceramics. So. I mean, it's, well, it's, first time miniatures. When she says first, she's she's really not <laughs> not really the truth. She's done miniatures with us before. Oh, I don't like her. She's a liar. 
Oh, watch out for that. <laughs> I came up with a new phrase this week. It was, I have difficulty accepting his truth. Dealing with a vendor for uh, microfilm machines. I said, we can't make that way that, that work that way anymore. I said, it's worked that way for 13 years. I have difficulty accepting his truth that you can't make it work now. Yeah, that sounds like something money would say. Did you try anyway. switching out the uh, SCSI card? Well, I brought a new one with me, but it seemed to be working. Was, something's not working. Was right? the part that you left and is not working a clue that maybe you should have tried swapping the new card that you had with you? Ah, okay, we're, we're not going to talk. IT stuff. <laughs> you can hold out a hole. <laughs> well, the thing of that is I was at the mall and I'm on the stupid touchscreen navigation. I'm like, I just want a map. I don't it's, need... It's, don't, it's, it's, well, the first one I got to... Was, to understand end-user yes, uh, interface. Uh, something that I, user interface I is all about websites, rail against constantly when I deal with customers. Yep. No, I just want to do this. No, they'll you never don't. use it. <laughs> they'll never use it. They'll never, uh, they'll never read it. And I get books from people for the homepage. And I'm telling you right now, Nobody will read all of that ever. No, exactly. No, I heard a market company do mine, and they just if you break it all make apart, it succinct. Make sure you have your mission yeah. statement figured out. Well, you can have a keep book. Keep repeating it. Yeah, you can have a book, but if you break it apart and put it everywhere, they will find it because people are like that. <laughs> Everything that you want to get out there will be available. Will be available to them, and they will find it. I had a guy who taught, uh, or who was a uh, high school guidance counselor, mm -hmm. and he wanted to get into uh, helping. Uh, he, wanted his, he wanted to create a job of helping kids get to college, right? Uh, which is becoming a big deal now because it's such a huge, complicated problem getting to college. Yes, I work in library. Which is, I should be as simple as pie, really. Or at least pie in the face. <laughs> you know, I'm going to wonder if anybody. I don't know why. Like, <laughs> well, I just yeah. went through it twice. I mean, my son uh, was reluctant to do anything. Yeah. Really we had to scramble oh, yeah. the lesson, which made it three times harder. So, uh, and that's now the man coming back to write him. And then my daughter, who has to, you know, she has money of her own from a. Uh, we were in an accident many, many years ago. She was hurt. And he, she sued my insurance company and the other girl's insurance company. So my mother's actually her guardian, uh, or was her guardian, and uh, she had money, but it doesn't take that into account for financial aid. So now you still have to jump through all the hoops. She's not making any money off that money, mm -hmm. which is sad, but you can save it first <laughs> now. Uh, so there's so, and then you have to account for it, but it doesn't count. I'm like, how the heck does that work? <laughs> And then you have to go visit the place. You have to provide uh, ID. My daughter doesn't have a driver's license. She doesn't have any ID. So and birth certificate doesn't work anymore. <laughs> exactly. And how do you get a driver's license? For the birth, birth certificate. certificate. <laughs> so, you know, why, why is it becoming so complicated? I don't know. But I'm not going to go into the political stuff, Eric. Yes, I looked at you. I also can get Monty on the phone. Or LT, pick your pick. I, I'm not going to get Omar was on this one. It's too play. comic in the last month. <laughs> no, it's, it's... My fiance is into the political humor stuff. I could care less. Tomorrow night is for her, not for me. I'm more of a Louis C.K. myself. He's come on great. And Carlin, you know, rest in peace. We got to see him on his last tour. Oh, right. He was very political. Yeah. <laughs> he got real big. <laughs> he, was, he was very better. I, I want to point out that he was still very political. He was the guy that hated everything. He, he may be gone, but never, his disciples <laughs> remain. <laughs> yeah, I don't think politics was, uh, I don't think he was narrowed down to politics. It was pretty much a shotgun. I was reading one of his books the other day, and I just had to put it down. I was like, yeah, Jesus is just... Too bitter, mad at everything. Yep. Mm. That's isn't that what yeah, Catholicism is all about? <laughs> <laughs> That's how I remember. <laughs> hey, Carrie, can I have that green back? 
Can you pass me some oil, brother? Yes. Yes, I can. I'm not going to throw it, though. Because <laughs> I find it. There's like 80 browns in here. That's not it. Where'd you end up? That's ready, leather. Uh, thank you. I still got to come get this one. He's got it. So. Oh, okay. Oh, sorry. Right. That's all right. Is it wanted a good shot of my armpit anyway? <laughs> what size? You and who would they it? be exactly? No, no, no. Him later. <laughs> Paint the tip green or no? Whatever you want. Um, I can't remember what we said over there. I was, I was, I was I, in terms of an actual elf design, that would be what I would do. Okay. I'm done. If you definitely, if you're not, you're if you're avoiding uh, shiny bits. I'm so avoiding shiny bits. <laughs> Always a huge thing. I'll get into it now. We're going to be quiet. Yeah. Shh, shut up, Bob. <laughs> you paying anything yet? Yes. <laughs> neener, neener. We've got a late start painting today. I don't care. <laughs> I'm, I'm here to help out with people and playing host. So basically doing what I normally do when it comes to painting. And I apologize if I start staring at people and watching their technique. <laughs> I would probably not even notice. Well, I already knew that. <laughs> I did zone out the last time I was here. That's all right. Well, that's, I don't know, you know, I'm not when you weren't, really, when you weren't, you were quite entertaining. <laughs> that's what I do. Um, yeah, I'm kind of in the weird because I'm almost done with this one. Mm -hmm. you know, I've got this one. I'm not jazzed about doing because of the sculpture. Um, the major or the guy? The major. Yeah. And the. Is that the Reaper one? Yeah, I mean it's okay. I looked at like uh, Tom Meyer's got one that's pretty right. nice. My mother. Oh, yeah, it's, it's classic. I mean, it's yeah. not like it's anything special. Well, that's the thing. You know, after doing the... I said give him, give him a pink blanket. They, they didn't know the... the, the uh, no, just, <laughs> they didn't know the gender beforehand. That's right. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to do a... Um, well, no, the, the warm white and the cool white. That I learned that I Listen, you're already going to pass. It's okay. Well, we'll do a paint club down there, too. Yeah. Set the watch for the drawing out. Yeah. Well, that, that's the hell, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Here are all the paints, but all the paints are dry. No, they're Tuss always wet to put them on the put them on the figure, then they dry as they go. They're all tusser and ammo. Yeah. Yeah. Eric, uh, Eric would laugh his ass off and reason. <laughs> Eric loved testers back in the day. Yeah, the guy who's probably got the most painting done so far today. That grand marshal is around now. Uh, we're not bell cut figures, so yeah. yeah. I still love the uh, the weird blue that we put on we put on the flag next. Shiny metal blue that just looks wrong. Powder blue? It was it was it was kind of like that. Not quite a powder blue. I 
still a big fan of Bozo myself. Just want to redo that again. And my boss. What are all these people doing here? See you, Jim. You working here? Uh, apparently. <laughs> so you send, eh? Actually, I got to come in and do something for a client who's uh, taking something live in Germany on uh, Tuesday night or Tuesday morning their time, mm. which is Monday or something my time. I don't know. All I know is I have to put up some stuff so that they have it there to turn on. I'd rather be salaried than hourly, so I don't have to worry about any of that guy. I don't mind get, coming in and doing it. So. I keep keeping track of my time, per se. You've got the worst of both, the salary and I keep track of my time. Yeah. I get it in comp time. But if I work an hour, yeah, an hour off, but I used to like do that the paper, and it was uh, the, the photographers would be off for a month, and then the other one would be generating comp time the whole time that he was gone, and it was a vicious cycle. Yeah. And then they said, you know what? This is stupid. Why are we doing this? And being cheap like the papers are, cut it out. Put all of the photographers except one on freelance, much to their annoyance. Guess how many photographers just submitted freelance work after that? Only the ones want to get paid. <laughs> no, because they wouldn't take your. If they don't take your work. You don't get paid. Peter Parker asks. There's no base pay, no nothing. You submit photos, they use them, they pay you. Yeah, they'll try that for a while up there, and then they got pissy with you. By the way, I saw I saw the black version of Al last night on TV. See what? No, uh, Ron. Oh God, I just saw um, two shows. I can't think of his last name now. Does he giggle? Yes. And he talks in the, and he talks in a quiet voice until he's until he's excited about something. It was perfect L. The the funniest night in, in in my house during gaming, it was not us gaming, it was the guy sitting in the other room reading Paranoia, the game, mm -hmm. and laughing his head off. By giggling. The guy who we got a guy set the stages. Picture picture, picture a guy that's six six <laughs> one. 290 pounds at the time, and hysterically good one. And mostly bald, <laughs> but with yeah, a huge beard. Yeah. <laughs> Giggling. Giggling. Laying on the couch, not not sitting there reading. He was he was fully laid out on the couch with a book in his face. It was awesome. And we were sitting there trying to play Dungeons and Dragons or something at the dining room table, and then we'd have to stop him. Well, he's so funny. <laughs> He just, just he just precipitates laughter. Well, that came out well, shockingly. Yeah, his brother is a uh, collector of hobbies. Collector? Collector of hobbies. How do you mean? Uh, if it's a hobby, he'll do it for a while. Oh, okay. Uh, collected guns. Uh, did photography. Collecting guns. Hell, he's making me one right now. <laughs> uh, also a uh, collector of uh, degrees. He is licensed to manufacture and sell explosives. In New York, not New York City. 
How do you do that? Well, they do. Someone's got to implode that building somehow. And uh, just a all around fun guy to be around for the most part. Something I can't say about a lot of the people I know. Self taught photography, self taught yeah. machining, self taught uh, brewing. Uh, is he still doing that? Or is it? in a while, it's not too much now. Yeah. He created the, the, the gear name Terminator Dark. Self taught uh, auto mechanic. Pretty sure you didn't want to drink it. They didn't have your beer on tap, right? They didn't. They got rid of the Mega Modelo. No one's left at the Mexican restaurant in Wegmans. <laughs> Buy them at Wegmans. Uh, you know who's doing uh, pick your uh, beer now? You know, mix and match uh, six packs? Who? You know. Really? Yeah. Like a convenience store around the corner from my house. And you don't even drink. Yeah, well. <laughs> they have any good beers that they, they can pull from? Don't know. Didn't have a look. Just saw the sign yeah, the other day. I want to make a six pack of Bud Light and Coors Light. <laughs> well, that, that is yeah, all the beers. But it, it, cool. it was their go, go to stuff for a long time. No, yeah. Keystone. We had, I had a conversation <laughs> with a, a group that had a. That's like the worst beer ever. Yeah. <laughs> the, the night of that uh, that fight outside the house between the guy and his girlfriend. Uh, oh yeah. A, a long time ago, they they had they were all about Keystone because they don't they can drink a lot of it and they can't get drunk. <laughs> but it did escalate into a large fight outside my house, <laughs> where the boyfriend tried to kick the drop kick the girlfriend. Uh, it's very, you know, true TV <laughs> well, moment, and uh, he didn't he didn't stick around after I came out the door at full speed, and uh, I don't vote for that crap. And uh, he ran off, and all she could think about was that she was going to have to go home and do all this trash stuff that he was going to do. And then I heard the story about what they did is they bought they went out and got a twenty pack, they drank it. And they were going to go get another one, but he didn't want to put up money. And that's what the fight was about. And then, well, and then it just devolved. What's that trying to get Keystone? Five dollars? I don't know. It's the cheapest uh, deal there is. I know. It's not five dollars. Well, it, it was late because I don't even think they could have gotten it anymore. I'm honest. so thinking about my beer when I get a six pack of ten bucks. I know. Uh, you want to get into worst beers in the world? You get. Uh, Jenny Light. Phone, go, that's yeah. the worst beer in the world. <laughs> now, hey, I'm about to bring it out. I, I used to bring back. The, Sports at the gas station. So we uh, <laughs> kids in high school. I drank six beers. You drank six old beer sports. That's not six beers. Huh? <laughs> Those are bad going, beers. Going to college up at Syracuse, yeah. we had a friend who was in West Point. We had the Army Syracuse game. Him and his bunch of buddies came up, and they, you know, since I go to school there, they all met up at our dormitory. Uh -huh. well, they came in. They had this big case of Jenny Light. For them. End of the day, they weren't going to take it home with them. They said. You find something to do with it. I said, sure, yeah, I can find I'm something. I'm in a dorm. I'm in a dormitory. <laughs> right, right. Couldn't give it away. Not a single be. can. Worse. Couldn't yeah. give it away. It was a can even. That was it. Not bad going down. It's not a real man had drunk on me. Yeah. Yeah. The worst beer ever. I worked. Well, my first job was at a gas station, and as an actual attendant, I would pump the gas. You couldn't do it yourself. Uh, we had diesel and uh, kerosene as well. And uh, propane, but we also had a redemption center. And for three years, I didn't smell anything ever again. Uh, but I had some of the worst crap come through there before I lost my sense of smell. Yeah, when we were <laughs> when I was in high school, the cheap beer to get their hands on was OMs, there, the old Milwaukee's. Uh, uh, the 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 old <laughs> they were awful. I love old Milwaukee. Do you really? Exactly yeah. 32 degrees. Yes. <laughs> Our, uh, That's funny. A friend of mine comes up uh, once a year. 
loves to make uh, beer broths. He says, yeah. get, the, get the worst <laughs> yeah, smelling, yeah. nastiest. Yeah. 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 That's okay. I thought you said that. Oh, yeah. It's $3 a con. Yes, it's $12 for four or five. Yeah. Crazy. I do like the and we were saying I like the make on the bottle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, craft beer is a huge thing right now. All oh, I like, the country. I really like if it's in that brown. That's really yeah, good. They do have that one still. So. That's really good. That's on there all the time, I think. That uh, reds? Yeah. Yeah. Um, let's try that next time. Okay. What'd you have? You had the pumpkin, pumpkin ale today, didn't you? Oh, yeah. I hate it. I don't like any of those. Too what was I don't that like nasty one that we had when Steve was up there? I don't like any IPA. Yeah, the IPA yeah, 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 yeah. immediately. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I thought you were on the porch that night. Uh, I don't remember what it was. I know the hibiscus stuff was pretty bad. Hibiscus? I heard about the hibiscus. <laughs> yeah, without magic yet being. <laughs> what the? Who put well, hibiscus in beer? Uh, apparently, apparently you can craft beer guys. <laughs> uh, it wasn't the first one. It wasn't the only one I've seen. <laughs> <laughs> the the hoppiest thing that the guys have had was the Cascazilla from Ithaca. That was that one that John and Paul picked up on the way out yeah. the house that one night. And I got some in a mix pack and I dumped it out. I was like, that's just... It's straight up hops. Yeah. <laughs> like, people who eat stuff that's too hot just to say they can do it, and they're like, dying. Oh, no, it's it was like, hops. It was just so... Hot. No, no, I'm just saying. Yeah. It's to say they're going so far into yeah. the flavor hops yeah. beyond what's... Flavorful. Pushing it, but it's yeah. very popular. It's still around. It is. Yeah. It's almost like eating chicken wings just because they're hot. Eating the hottest chicken wings There's you can find because they're the hottest. I didn't order extra <laughs> hot, did I? I just, did. I just said, no, I said, I said, throw some extra sauce on it. Extra hot sauce <laughs> on it. No, no, I said extra sauce. Uh, you did, you know, you, I think you actually said extra hot sauce. And when you when you say it like that, you meant, I want more hot sauce. You. You can also take it as, I want really hot sauce. Oh, and I think good. that's how you took it, yeah. right? It was pretty good either way. So. <laughs> like, Billy, Billy, Billy's got a heavy hand with it anyway, so yeah. it's not like... It's not like you were going to get that anyway. Yeah, it was from the... Was it Thursday we lost power? Yesterday we lost power? Yesterday, I think. Yesterday, because they could... Uh, Jim couldn't get to his office. Get your website up <laughs> if he'd been here, he wouldn't have been able to come down. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> he has access. He has. A, there's a door over here to go through to the basement of the pharmacy, mm -hmm. and then there's a door that it actually has a thumb screw on the inside mm -hmm. of it, but or a thumb open, and uh, but the uh, he didn't have his key for that, so he wouldn't have been able to get out anyway. <laughs> he'd have had to bust through the door. Oops. Well, there's, there's literally no stair access to the second floor except for through their basement, which goes directly to the top floor. This is the, actually the first floor. The second floor is the middle one. The street level for Fall Street, all that second falls is the third floor. And, uh, yeah, his office has no windows. It's got a big studio in the middle, in it and uh, for doing video, and he just sits up there and sm chain smokes his head away. Which is part of the reason we wanted him up there in the first place. Because Tom doesn't breathe well. That just makes it worse. Do you have a game store there? Uh, there is, actually, right across the street upstairs. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, all they sell are D&D &D books and Magic the Gathering. Oh. That's it? Uh, for the most part, yeah. They have some, like, hero clicks and stuff like that, but yeah. there's not a lot there. No. They have a lot of uh, the more interesting games, uh, board games. Like they do have some Catan and stuff like that in there, mm -hmm. but nothing else. Uh, so I'm talking to. I just won last one. I'm talking to a, <laughs> a friend of a friend who <laughs> has a game store in Union crushing. Springs. <laughs> Where's your space compared to here? Uh, well, right out here, a little bit is Cuga Lake. On okay. the opposite side of that lake from us is Union Springs. Okay. I'm sure that's oversimplified, but pretty uh, close. Yeah, and uh, he really would like to move to Seneca Falls to open up the shop because it's a bigger region, far bigger market. Far bigger market. We have a college nearby, uh, right? A, a chiropractic college. Uh, there's also a college, uh, two colleges technically in Geneva, and uh, he would really like to get the bigger crowd. 
and he's right now his his shop is part and parcel of his house. Oh, okay. So getting out of there would be nice too. I think. At least his wife would say like so. I know. Uh, so I'm hoping to get him to come to a couple of these. And maybe make these slightly bigger so I can work out getting an empty shop down here to use one day. Mm -hmm. And then maybe keep enticing him for farther forward to have an actual game store we could do this out of instead of oh, awesome. Sense. But it's his it's his money. It's not like he's gonna spend it where I say, so sure. It just <laughs> make makes sense, yeah. right? But I haven't yet to get him to come to one, so I'm gonna have to go to one of his gaming sessions, I think. Or that would involve dealing with somebody I got fired from here, so. Makes things interesting. I don't really have, I never really had an issue with them outside of that. We might have one with you. Oh, I don't doubt it. <laughs> Although, when they, when they, him and Erica got pregnant, she ran right down to tell Jen. Which was weird. After I got him fired from here. So. Uh. This is a uh, partially family business. Uh, my boss is part of the, fam the biggest family in Seneca Falls. Okay. Uh, so he is re related to the lead technician here. Okay. Uh, he's in there. He's in the second largest family in Seneca Falls. Mm -hmm. uh, I am probably for the longest time it was I was the only one who wasn't family here. Mm -hmm. uh, we had two other people who were employed here at one point. Uh, so there were four people in the family and just me. <laughs> so when uh, one of the family members decided he could just coast through job uh, and not do any of the work and decided to get into it with me about something, uh, he lost. And okay. it was the first time Jim ever had to fire anybody. Right. Uh, and it was, it was, sure. That was that made it even worse. But things got much smoother after that. Well, he. You know how people pass articles around and stuff when you're online? And right. You just send somebody a link and say, hey, check this out. Mm -hmm. That's fine if you do it once, twice a day. But, you know, when you pass an article around, the implication is that you read the article. Yeah. <laughs> Which, when you pass a five-page article around, and when I say five pages, I'm talking about the ones that are on the web. <laughs> you know, it's pretty long. Uh, he's obviously not doing anything. Right. So I had told him I needed something done, and uh, he had decided to argue with me about it. And uh, one of the few times I've actually lost my temper here at the office, or anywhere really. And I actually had to go walk the block. Well, and at least you identified that. Oh, I'm, believe me, I've been identifying it for many years. I, I, was, <laughs> I was the guy in... in uh, junior high and uh, early high school that would lose it on people in short order. Right. Uh, but the... Uh, Come on, fool He is a stark raving lunatic. True. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> it's the quiet. He's right. <laughs> <laughs> Complete yeah. psychopath. He lures people in from the internet. Mm -hmm. no. For prank painters. <laughs> yeah. He's well painted. Yeah. There were 12 and people asking what else to do. <laughs> and the yeah. children yeah. of the pain. <laughs> random, random, random paint-related horror stories. <laughs> a, little, a little kid made out of a little kid made out all the little bits out of the paint walls. <laughs> <laughs> covered, covered in these little things, stuck it in. Cool. Yeah, Based. this the girl looks like. I tried not to paint it all white. I wanted something oh, that's to nice. show you because your stuff hurts. Right? Yeah, something like something uh, light colored. Does it look too white? Yeah, a little. I mean, uh, what do you think? Layer of it. Those are dropping everything today. Ah, I'm going to set it on my leg. Let's pass it around the table. Get everybody's opinion. <laughs> wow. I'm perfectly happy to do that with mine. I think I need another coat of white on there because it, it's uh, got some underlying color showing through, so it doesn't look very smooth. Okay. Well, I, I did want some of the color shows here. I was oh, trying okay. to make it look like, what was it? Pretty cool? Well, there's the ash wood and there's a, a lighter colored uh, base wood. 
Oh, yeah, that's Bert. That's yeah, I Bert. know. Let's do a checkered floor. But no, it's coming out well. I know, retard. Yeah, it's, it's coming out well. Yeah, well, I, the good thing the is I did it on an angle. Right. So you won't be looking directly down the lines. So when it's, it it's photographed. <laughs> so it's photographed. Yeah, yeah. I just think that was key to it. We're going to have to follow her. Okay. So just do another cut of the same thing? Or do a I think it was square with what her direction she was going with. Um... No, trying nice. to go Dude, with like the, the bark look where the, the, light. the you're That's what I was going through. Yeah. I really I, yeah, I can't stand that painting. So. I don't have to actually yeah, go. You need to listen to people online. Yeah. Well, I think they're all out of line. Unless the pictures have their like, tinfoil hats. That's probably worth it. Yeah. That's why nobody I, puts I, up actual pictures of themselves. I do another coat of that color. And then put the back parts in my um, little Argentinian with, friend. With <laughs> so funny. The the, the miscommunication with okay. Trying to convey what cheesy what I is. I said something about cheesy basing, and he's like, I don't understand like what that means. And it's like, how do you. Like stripes. It's such well, a it's, word that means just, what it means. You know, yeah. It's, yeah, the cheesy thing is funny. And the way it looks right now with the dark color showing. And if anybody's cold, tell me because I don't notice. I don't either. I'm kind of, yeah, it's cold. I know, I just turned it up. Because I saw her wringing her hands. <laughs> I'll be stepping outside. I shoved in my pocket. Yeah. <laughs> um, and, the, and, the, yeah and it resets the temp here like every 10 minutes because it's stupid. Yeah. So. Yeah. I, I coated again and then put okay. some little coats for it. That's good. They stuck the food in that rainbow. Oh, they did. <laughs> Why are you giving one away? Yeah. Selling one. Ten bucks. <laughs> oh, let me take a look. This is uh, the thing we call ten bucks. Uh, actually, no, I don't know. Hundred beans for a vendor. I believe it's a tax. It might be one guy just see. You see him. Like the green gray, the pink. I did it. You get stone bells in there. I do have stone bells in there. <laughs> I don't think that's the thing with the rest of the game. <laughs> <laughs> this year is just cowboy. So you're not going to do the blue oyster bar? <laughs> no, I'm not going to do the blue oyster bar. I'm not going to do the blue That'd be wrong. Who's the last standards? That would be insanity. <laughs> <laughs> what would be? Oh, 10 bucks for the blue oyster? Sure. I'd rather sell them to real people than. So no, I will uh, chop them up. That's why I got the crap. I already have the little addition one in the middle. And then the other one you can watch with the water for them. And they're a tough dog. Actually, you can that because it's uh, you find red, right? I, I, I have overspent the whole thing. You're telling me why you think I'm selling it? I just I, I, I bust. I, I even bought it on the Sony. All of the outsides? Yeah. yeah. I don't know if I could have seen Dan and Michelle both. Yeah, I pulled out. I, pull I would be bought in because I love the purple. Yeah. Yeah. I bought every one of those, and I think I might get the Frosty again. Very cool. I love the Dragon Flyer. I think that was just awesome. What they needed was a group riding control shoulder. Because that would have been perfect. It's a great model. It's I, 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 I bought it. I think it's a long Well, it's right there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I thought it was a long story. It is. It's huge. It's well, you, you got to keep in mind, they're selling it for 80 yeah. <laughs> How much was he when we bought it? Ten. No, he wasn't. He was ten. He was ten, Kevin. Yes. Another mall was twenty-five, and the other was ten. Oh, yeah, they got the screw up with the scale. Well, they did the other mall was much better. I like the other mall, but I just like the other mall. The other mall was bigger. Yeah, if we scaled that, it would be. If we would scale to what you can try the model, that would be great. I'm sure you're right. Yeah. 
I screwed it up. The thing that's just new about the guy is the bass song. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. beautiful. Yeah, it's just beautiful. Yeah, bass song. Uh, he's he's all good. Oh, sorry. It's wrong. Is that bass? Yeah. It's 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 awesome. It's awesome. It doesn't look out of scale. No, compared to what I put in the track. The whole thing with all the characters and stuff. Yeah. It doesn't look over the side. I don't know where it is. Everything looks relatively reasonable. Look at the skulls in the face. Those are supposed to be human size. So that was the thing I was trying to figure out. And I couldn't. Oh, I've seen it. Yeah. But, you know, they're giant skulls. They're giant. <laughs> <laughs> just makes cow dress all the more. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good thought. It is. Yeah, I'm not sure that one. Yeah, yeah. Wait, we're just going to leave it right here with this other thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's not on the reaper form, so no, no. we'll charge you with full price. Getting him on a form is very hard. Yeah, I hate form. However, they do oh, have a political know. section, Eric. What's that? Yeah. Yeah. They do have a political section that's blocked off from us. Oh, I'm yeah. scared. I'm not signed up for it. I'm scared. Yeah. We just sit. I just looked over and I was like, what's going on? I couldn't handle the comment section. How much? I got that. I got that. It's just, oh, oh it's just drunk. Well, this is nuts. See, so see this right here? I saw this has got to be awesome my daily laugh. That's just one of the skeleton people I haven't had to deliver here. Oh, look, it's a warm plate. They're not, you know, just send them no, no. email. I have to go back and check and see what my numbers are. Yeah, sure yeah. Like, uh, yeah, well, yeah, you want to be on top of it. No, I can't go with the comment section. That or the demons and devils. Yeah, I like the I like 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 I are we being like that? Yeah. Like, I, I went and gave my For Lola? Yeah. I already got the first. I got the class. first 17. Yeah, we got the first batch. Yeah, the first batch. Yeah. That was a long time. Oh, the device. Yeah. It came out of a no longer. Yeah. 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 And they're awesome. I, I love the book. You didn't play the book. No, I didn't. Oh, you didn't get it? Yeah. Well, yeah. Why is he in water? Me? No, uh, it's just, it's, he's, he's got like, some outstanding products. But he just got a bunch of other things. It's just, I just don't think it's just that. Is there a challenge? The thing is, though, with, especially with the new ones, it's the same. I don't know, for, um, for this Oh, it's really good. Yeah, yeah. I'm not, he just said, well, the most ethical fellow. Well, I don't think it's anything. It just makes it a plus. Okay. Yeah. And EFS, I'm with it. And your plant. Just get green. So, you know, it's something you take off and it's a chamber. And all of a sudden it's done. So, that's kind of. So, so the thing you want to do is shake around the table. So, it's green light. So, I don't know. Something is. So, the market is like the Vince thing up about it. Oh, talking to him at the Kickstarter end party. It's like. Okay, well, what does this mean then? Right. And they got the hat side eye, but they got the hat side eye. It's like that when I was yeah. expecting us to assume certain things. Right. Well, I mean, there's a lot of things out there right now. No, I don't have that. That I wish you meant. Yeah, it's just what's going on. Okay, well, a lot of people are marking these projects. I just want myself. Or I'm going to say, there you go. Yeah. 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 Yeah
and they brokered the escrow deal that they've got now that they will marketplace up. That's all because this guy wanted to buy out my pledge, so they started the whole yeah. marketplace to sell the pledge. So I got the money, I went and bought some Tom Meyer miniatures, I bought some packs of free stuff. I'm happy. That's really yeah, so I, I pulled out of that one. So I'm not quite as, this is my whole that 4 day thing to trade because I got them as. Yeah, control for test alert what they do. And they don't know how to do residence. Uh, and that's the problem. So like, it just got through what we call the chimney stuff. So, I, I still got to get around. I mean, you know, now that there's other. I, I, the only thing that I, have, I don't, I try to avoid looking at that. It's just too much to, to process on the front end. Uh, but the, uh, I saw the, what's the, the original one in the right tree. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's I have to look at it, and I'm like, they're not going to get it. Man, this, no. <laughs> well, they got closer. The thing is, it's just the guy didn't um, compensate for them being 3D bricks. So you had this creation marks on the thing. Right. You had this pass. You had sinkholes. I've never had a sinkhole in a miniature before when you're cleaning the thing and all of a sudden the, the skin collapses and underneath there's a big hole. And the thing that gets me is he was blaming that on uh, trades intricate sculpts and small detail. He's like, oh, it's all trades. So and all of a sudden he was trading all, all, all the product? Uh, or just the original product was... They were mastered. They were mastered. Right. They were mastered. Uh, first they took them and then he was doing the resins for them. Right. Yeah, they haven't done big resin yet. Yeah, every batch you know, Because the tray stuff was really nice, right. except for the balls of the past. Yeah. Right. It's been a challenge. Well, like, like on my last Reaper card, like he brought in a set, so I got my horses and everything, and he went through and sorted through. So I got a good set from it. But, poor guy, it's like, you oh. can't find good sets for everyone because there are they're hard enough to get right. so, like, It's so bad for him. They, they, they get drafted. Right. It's not something you can just build in. Right. The yeah. whole thing, thing is gone. gone. Yeah. And not to mention, I don't have money. Right. It's easy. No, no, the, 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 oh, the train manager. Yeah. 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 First one. Four seconds. Well, Dan got his in a couple of minutes before the Reaper Con. He got his own. Yeah, I got yeah, I got yeah, my yeah, 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 it's good to get ideas out yeah. there to yeah. develop new products. And I've watched some of them. They've been watching more in Europe. We have that in the market. Like Western production is one of the favorite yeah. companies. Like they just did the Emperor. Yeah. 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 So most of you have that. We wish it. Yeah. We don't want to do so. I sure have products that show that they were amazing. It was absolutely amazing. Yeah. So that's why you plug your eggs and do it. Three years ago, we'll come out this one. It's a really good game, too. But the other half of the that went up, sir, probably over there, there. Yeah, a bunch of those people who thought I was a few bucks. And it's just, it's just I want that here. Yeah, here's the task, but they, they don't like the sort of thing. You can't do everything. Oh, yeah. That's why I think they can do that. Sure. And there are their niche covers. So they go off the wall. So that's what I have to do. Or off the wall, back to the rear. Yeah. Which is why I have to do it. Oh, yeah. It's only like a big tweet. It's, you know, warrior. It's a lot of things. Exactly. Or that's those. It's a weird worm. It's a kind of weird. It's just a little bit fun. And I like Sound Project and Sword of the Beat. So it's a really good song. But those are the guys that did the numbers game. Right. And this is basically the response to the spiritual success. And also, it just really offends me when they just get rid of this guy's done. Get rid of this guy's done. Also, I like to uh, stop uh, also like and boxes and boxes of it. I feel like a order. I'm going to find dead cats soon. And I really don't want that. So we'll do nothing to scratch. And I don't get any cats. That's going to be ironic. Other than the bones, I don't have a lot of, you know, Bob Chill is pretty big. I've got an impulse. I have a pretty large year or short hour. The rest of the stuff for the market. Oh, okay. Nice. I think you're in a part of the world. So we're going to all sandbox.
I got the I got the uh, uh, Dragon the guy's name. Phenomenal, but it's it's larger scale, it's harder to help. It's a lot of four measures up here in the I just got it in my angle one at four hundred and having more pictures. There's so much theory with the things I have to do to make it detailized. So everybody experiences the they use traditional uh, English I don't know if they hired names. So the, 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 the currency yeah. they had them all involved in milk or something. Really high quality. Really really the really highest quality stuff. stuff I had. Uh, uh, so I got some studio with bay resin, which is really nice. Really nice detail. I'd say those two are probably the best I've seen. And then King of Death is like right underneath them. And your character. Yeah, they go really cool, really cool, really cool. What is that? I stopped there. Not at the look, it's a good, oh, you can get the best in show stuff. Yeah. All the professional artists tend to win more. Yeah, well, because they're amazing. That's their profession. That's their profession. They put in the 10,000 hours. I would hope they win. It's inspiring to see it. That's the time. That's not a whole lot of extra cost. So, no effort at all. If I can get up to a silver this year or whatever, I'll be happy. My first year I got a one, so I'll try for it. So the other ones, so we'll see how it goes. And then, well, that's what thing that people scream about. Yeah, I've got it. Those guys I want to paint up the now. The Sedition War stuff is actually like they're a little better than some of the Sedition War minis. And the detail is there. Like I um just did a quick primer that I made up with wash. And you start seeing the detail that's in the thing. It's there. Take my cash. It's there. No, I don't. Elquin. It's new though. Like once they figure out, once they figure across the room, because Brian said in the kitchen, uh, like, "What do you want me to paint?" Yeah, he said, "My favorite piece is Elquin." I pulled it out and started painting, and he's got like these little filigrees on the on his quiver, yeah, and it's like half there. And I just said, "That's it. I'm done painting bones for a while." And that's when I painted. Uh, uh, Lucy went back. So I'm back I said, "I'm going to go to my metal miniatures." I just painted the Grave Digger, so I was feeling a little hot, you know, I pulled out some of pretty cool, yeah, uh, two new techniques on it, so I said, I'm just going to paint some I want to out of my, I'm not good enough to paint these, yeah. but I'll do it anyways, so. Mm -hmm. 
It worked out pretty well. Huh? You guys ever play uh, Neverwinter Nights? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We ran a world. Uh, Wait a minute, Canadians play Neverwinter Nights. Where do you play? <laughs> <laughs> Just roaming around. <laughs> roaming dry brush. It's actually not totally dry. It's like half a side brush. Yeah. Yep. But yeah, we um we had tons. We were in this one this one place had tons and tons of mummies on there. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. There were so many that the the server lagged and. <laughs> Lovely. Uh, this one place was so bad they had so much stuff, so much uh, background so uh, metal processing going yeah. on. Yeah. That uh, we walked into it, all of the zombie lords and all that yeah, here. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's called Vibes. Oh, yeah. And uh, they hit, it was so bad yeah, that uh, by the time the computer caught up to us, uh, the guy I was with, who was like three times more powerful than anything in the room, had dropped them in a circle around us. So they went from slowly walking towards us to being down on the ground in a circle, like some kind of weird ritual. And then we got stuck in the room because they hit a trap. Uh, so then we thought the trap exit was to go down to the next level where the, where the actual mummies were, uh, who of course would have crushed us. So we ended up doing the uh, run like the hell to get them out of the way to get some space to look for the trap door open. So I'm fast, he's faster. So he's, uh, I have a feeling all right. You can go invisible. Uh, you go invisible. Look yeah, around. I'll, I'll just keep them distracted as they chase me. I said they're mummies. They're gonna catch spells. It's fine. I know. No, it works. Yeah. Yeah. If you want to do it on metal four piece, I do everything. I well, the, the mummy lords like more like their real games too. Uh, it was uh, it was just hilarious the situation. And then we found a, we found out that the best way to be on that server was to be evil. So we decided to uh, use one of the. Uh, uh, quests incorrectly. Is that was that five? Yeah. Uh, so they had placed this guy who had, in the same tomb, had lost his wife, that taken her down in there. And you you could reply to the guy, yeah, she's dead. Sorry, you know, and kind of politely. Or you could be a dick to him. Yeah. Well, if you're a dick to him, you take an evil point. Right. So we decided we needed to be evil to get the better gear. We're it was. The, the server was dead at that point. The only reason it was back was because we had showed up again. Yeah. So we were already getting our asses kicked by every weapon master on the server. Uh, because if you're on the server, you apparently had to be a, a weapon master. Pretty popular. <laughs> yes, I'm looking at the one of the mess weapon masters from our group. <laughs> I wasn't on. Oh, no, you were the Arcane Archer. Arcane Archer. Well, we were running around in probably the most ineffective group ever. We died all the time. And, uh, fighter gaming. Yep. And at one point we decided that Eric was uh, getting too confident and that we were going to kick him out. <laughs> I had I was playing. Let me let me put it in perspective. I'm playing with a guy who's playing the biggest dummy in the world, uh, barbarian fighter type. My character is a dwarf, barbarian sorcerer. Take a minute. Absorb yeah. that concept. I'm trying to who, to to it. <laughs> who is incredibly dumb himself. I mean, I'm not as bad as him, so I talk in slightly more whole sentences. But when you're around somebody who talks in Brack speak, we call it. Oh, now contagious. I know what you're talking about. It's contagious. <laughs> Everybody starts talking in Brack speak. Paul's character? Yes. So, I've heard about so we call before. ourselves the Purple Fire Clan because uh, we found purple color to make our clothes purple, our cloak purple. That was the requirement. Okay. Uh, Paul was the only one who knew where it was. He's the only one who could find it and procure it and give it to you to, to make make you join. So we had a we had a lock on it, so you couldn't just run around as a fake one. And then finally, uh, you had to be a count. You had to die repeatedly. And in this world, you had uh, instead of dying and respawning, you were you were rescued and returned to a hospital somewhere. These magic anywhere you these magic down. rescuers could get to where you are safely and get you out were gods to us. <laughs> so we would write and we would talk about how Darren carried us out and got us back to the hospital and, and you know didn't manage to steal too much from us this time. And because you you lose you lose gold and all that stuff when you die. But the, the biggest part of that server is they had a sliding XP scale. If you killed the monster once, you got full XP for it. Right. 
You kill it twice, you might get more. And then it was still scaled by by the by the fifth it. time. It's dropping. Yeah, and it drops like a rock. So you kill something ten times, you don't get anything. You get one, a minimum yeah. of one. <laughs> you're killing giants. So you're always looking for the next thing that, <laughs> otherwise, you don't progress. You also find. You also Unfortunately, get a, you outpace what's available. Yeah. Well, they also they also <laughs> produce uh, code their, their own code to uh, give you uh, XP for exploring. You find a new place, you get XP for it. They gave you uh, XP for a lot of different things, which was actually really cool about the place. But there was so much behind everything that it lagged like no tomorrow. I was on the worst server in the world on top of that. And uh, so it was very easy to get screwed by the system. Uh, I You can't lose a level except in really odd circumstances. <laughs> Apparently, I managed to find repeatedly <laughs> in the same night. Oh, no. <laughs> I got I got killed. I respawned somewhere, and I stood up. I hadn't because I hadn't bothered to heal myself. I was only one hit point. I was my character's incredibly angry, spouting off, and all of a sudden, out of the blue, I got tagged with an XP hit. <laughs> or I got I got hit with a, uh, an XP hit and damage. Oh, no. So I'm in a respawn point, and I die. Right. So when I respawned, you'd think I'd end up back in the same hospital. No. Oh, no. I was on the other side of the world by myself in a place that I couldn't get out of. Oh, okay. Alone. So, yeah, there was some really issues, some other issues with it that came from that. We had such a fun time with that place. It was, well, it was cool, though. Sparker wands. They wanted to be hit off and threw a firework up in the air. Everybody on the server was using that as, oh my god, it's an emergency, Psh, fire the thing off. We got a hold of those things. They were a greeting. We were <laughs> we used for greeting. It was quick. Anytime you ran into something, it was, it was quick. Whoever could get the thing off, off first. So it's like four of us ran into it. We're shooting these things off all over the place. And we're going to And somebody else comes out of the server, they were all catching out of these things that go off all over the place. And they got, we got yelled at. <laughs> oh, we got yelled at. I got, I got a guy who tried to role play. Uh, charming my character, who failed miserably, into not doing it ever again. <laughs> but he added an, 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 an insane condition that allowed me to do it whenever I wanted, basically. Uh, he said something. It was really an odd. I don't know why he phrased it that way, but I could easily work my way around it. Like using a, uh, a restaurant with you to pay for your dinner, just like you said to the galaxy. Mm -hmm. You must have already tried to pay for it with a legitimate form of currency. <laughs> or you really, really want to. <laughs> but the, uh, oh, we had a lot of fun on there. This is what this hat's from, I think. This is my Mercer hat. We have, I had my own world. I, I, I will say this. It was a gorgeous server. One of the prettiest servers I've ever been on. Well, that, and then and part and parcel of that was that they just had so much that it was heavy. It oh, was yeah. Just, it was more areas you shake them to pick you up. And then... <laughs> A lot of it was you had to program so that you took the characters off the screen, off of areas, and spawn them properly. And if you didn't do that and they were in the module, they, they were just processing things. You know, that would, there's some guy breathing still out in the middle of the server that nobody's ever going to reach. He's just sitting there eating up processing power. So. Well, that and they didn't have a cleaner, so if you killed 100 things, well, yeah. there's 100 things worth of junk laying around. <laughs> yeah, it, you'd log in and you'd walk through an area and it, it, there, hole. there would be a ton of dead remains and stuff. We used to do that in Oklahoma. Just take bags full of stuff. Here, call to, your wife. Roll up bags full of stuff, drop it. Oh, Next guy run in and drop it. Next guy run in and drop it. No, she just said, can you have air that area. Anyone who ran in there would oh. slow down to a crawl. I right. tried to load everything in all of that. I remember him and phone. <laughs> That's how if you were getting invaded, you would just go over to their area and start dropping stuff. They all crash and <laughs> break into the chaos. So that was an awful view. Oh, fun, but awful was sure. coded. <laughs> Started dialing. <laughs> That's like holding a brick to your ear. I was wondering when you were going to comment on the Hello. size of this phone. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, well, you, you, you call the man like and the phone. The phone to the 80s, big <laughs> 
turn around and use yep. that. Yeah. I am kind of excited about Samsung's Not career. Really. Get the old classic watch phone. Uh, there isn't one. I've heard some That's pretty good things actually. about it. What's that? Okay. I thought that was neat. Yeah. I wear watches as jewelry. Yeah, exactly. Megan's head right. They'll be fine. I just need like quickly batteries. Get here. All my watches for again. I don't and have any watches, jewelry on now. And the watches <laughs> I don't have a smartphone. Well, well, no, I'm fine. Down here, we're going to so we're gonna talk to, we're gonna, watches. Well, I don't know if you want to bring her. He has a lot of watches, too. Do that. You that. You can just throw you her. Just win contests yeah, and get a free watch. So. Or you can just throw it the other He's two. He's like, well, I have everything I want. I'll just get my wife a watch. <laughs> All right. Yep. All right. Bye. Yeah, some bike plugging metal gets in here on here. Isn't that a slip out? Probably. What kind of that beat to it? Oh, yeah, beat. Thank you. Kind of like tear. Really good group. I saw slip out last year. It's amazing. I went mostly right, for. I'm hoping, I'm hoping you brought. <laughs> <laughs> they weren't that bad. Uh, motorhead. Yeah. Oh, my God. God, are they loud. And there's a bunch of Slipknot kids sitting in the row next to me, and I'm like, guys, earphones, earplugs. And they're like, oh, you're really good one. No, you could be me and hear ringing for the rest of your life. Yeah, after what? the... Concerts I went to when I was... Motorhead gets off the <laughs> stage, and they're like... They're talking to each other like this! <laughs> yeah. That's how I thought of Poison Concert. I've been to so many. Sing really close you to the speaker. Me? <laughs> Most of all the concerts I went to was Judas Priest because he sang so friggin' high. No, I liked his concerts. It's just he sang so high. It would hurt my ears. Yeah, Did I do yeah. Judas Priest? Yeah. That was my I first concert. Priest. Defense of the Faith, 1984. Alright, here, here, here's my first concert. You'll never guess. My professor has absolutely nothing what, to do with the kind of music. What, 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 do you think, what do you think I went to see in concert first? Pat Ah, uh, no. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. Speak now, though. Um, um, nope. No females involved. Nah. It was a guy, and he There's had a really low two, voice. Three. Oh, I know where you went. I remember now. Well, you have the inside. Oh, okay. was it a show okay. okay. no. 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 It was all guys. It was all guys. I went to see the Didn't they have cages? Didn't they have cages on their stage? It was band well, what year, though? Huh? Well, what was the album? First year. It was their first Six eighty-seven. had been early. Yeah, was it was their first album. Was it first first like Paul's album. Boutique or was it Licensed Dale? Uh, I don't recall. I could go Paul's Boutique. Was, was, was it, it wasn't, my, uh, wasn't necessarily my thing. I just wanted to go for a concert. What was my first concert? I've been to a lot of concerts. But my Did first you go to Aerosmith first? Nope. No? I have no idea. Brian Adams. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> my girlfriend wanted to go and she couldn't go unless somebody went with her, so I went. But I got to go to Darien Lake yeah, for the whole day. Yeah, nowadays the kids okay. can say that I went to see Miley Cyrus once. <laughs> Anna Montana. Well, my first one was Scott's Bank. <laughs> yeah. Then after that, that, I think I, I think my next time was like Scorpion or something. Because <laughs> I was, I was a heavy metal person, so it was really weird that my first concert was. Uh, really if you can just picture somebody <laughs> standing here like this, with their arms or Cinderella, like this, standing in the middle of the field at Darien Lake, it was all of us. Uh, waiting for the count. We watched uh, it was White Zombie, then Rotten Godsmack, and uh, we were, he was standing like this, and some girl came up and told him. The day was an awful band called Shine Down was just out. My boss so loved Shine waiting. Down. It was just the two. No, it was Shine Down, Rob Zombie, and, and then we didn't Godsmack. get to see. Then we didn't see much of Shine Down. Well, we saw the whole thing of Shine Down. They just sucked, and we were talking to each other. <laughs> <laughs> well, this girl took an interest in him. Trying to get him to smile, he's doing his whole tower thing. <laughs> Are you this guy at the concert that stands like this? Yes, we were all doing it. All, four of, us, all, all four of us were doing that. Yeah, it was awesome. I enjoyed the concert. People, people kept Crazy. a 20 foot radius around yeah, us. Kenny was always on my left and John was on my right. And Kenny was always like. Well, he also got her in. I was like, he was, doing, he was doing that. Without the with, with shaving though, he had the full biker mu mustache. And, That's funny. And, uh, yeah, I, I didn't get too lazy till later on in life. <laughs> Six years later. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was fun. 
No, I went to see Beastie Boys with my buddies because they really wanted to go. Oh, uh, Happy Hanselman and uh, Hanselman, Jer- uh, David Hanselman, Carl Auden, Will, and uh, two six foot something guys, and me, and then David Hanselman, who's like five eight, five six. And uh, I'm he wore a Redskins jersey to a rap concert. And this was it a casino? No, it was at the. Uh, that Rock, would be bad. Was it Rochester's War Memorial? We didn't have any casinos yet. Now this wouldn't have been an unusual thing if it wasn't the white guy wearing a Redskins jersey as opposed to the rest of the crowd. And uh, a, pair, a bunch of. Uh, uh, very black dressed people with some purple hair mixed in were doing a mosh pit in front of us during Public Enemy. Right. That was a good time to see Public Enemy. <laughs> and then all of a sudden I saw red and gold in the midst of this mosh pit. And Dave's in there bouncing off these people doing full on hits, lowering his shoulder and driving them down. A lot of fun. And they're loving it. <laughs> what are you doing? I don't know. Run and roll. So, <laughs> that was hilarious. Then we got up to the front for uh, Beach Boys, floor. and uh, <laughs> one of the best things ever happened. When I went to see Anthrax last year, uh, said, you know, I, I used to watch all the time as a mother. We're five, five or six people back from and, the front, uh, and uh, I'm just kind of like. They headlined the second stage because they wanted the uh, general awkward, mission. Friend is, it was at. Uh, uh, Back, so they didn't want to be down like, in the seated uh, area. Right. What's his and, uh, Big Bang Theory there, Sheldon. It was just, yeah, there's back with George Maldonado, who I know from the back of our day. Well, there's that too. We're so going to That's, right. we're, uh, that's what, what, right on right. That's it. I got to get in there. But anyway, he's yeah. yeah. sitting there. There are a lot of us behind this one girl. A lot of the young kids. But he's still getting into it. He was actually really into the music. We made friends with his family. And we paid the six foot three Aryan guy to drive. Was there with their son, their two younger sons. And he literally is standing here like this next to me, and I'm standing near him to keep people on me. And my daughter is really like, I want to go see that. Yeah. It's tap on the back of her shoulder. Made his shoulder was just really short, but made it still pointing up. I just so he like literally it. bends down and picks up this girl. Yeah, my husband. What he didn't like realize is single. while she was Every short, single. she was not yeah. small. I didn't go to the last year. And he stood up. The first time I've seen. And the first time I've ever seen him not be able to lift anything very feet. well. Yeah, I've seen it. I don't even know how many times. He's a bit he of a bit. Count how many times I've seen him. So he gets all the way up finally, realizes what I he's have, done, uh, I saw them and instead of being polite and getting down, he went like this. Um, and I watched her yeah, surf away. <laughs> when they came over in their area. Until somebody realized that they that couldn't hold yeah. her up. Um, yeah, she ended up yeah, on the yeah, I, I felt really bad. There was nothing I could do about they, it because she was gone within seconds. I said, Really? Um, and he looked at me like, I can't hear you. <laughs> Which is one of my favorite. I know, songs. but they never hardly ever play it. They, they played it, and we made the DVD. I, like, I passed uh, like ninth grade English because of Iron Maiden. Really? <laughs> because the passages right? that they quoted in the song were the oh, ones on the test. Yeah, Seriously? they are. Oh, yeah. And I told my teacher wow. that after we took the test. And I Which, passed. Which grade? Ninth grade. Oh. Yeah, I, I was in school. in ninth grade. We were doing Iron Maiden. No, I mean, uh, I, it's just weird. I, I didn't. Ninth grade was easy for me. We had Greek mythology and something else similar. Uh, just blew through. I was. I knew more. I, I knew more than the teachers. Studied in high school. <laughs> I was one of those that could shove well, everything in my short term. You were very productive. Get out a hundred percent on the test and then forget it all the next day. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping for done. But How early? So. What do you think? Not done. Oh, uh, they, they, they. I still have to do the bases, obviously, and there's well, no yeah. highlights yet. So, but they're not too bad for cheesy things they put a ton of effort into. Oh, that's cool. I didn't get the yellow tag. I've never seen yellow tag. I've had it since <laughs> high school. Seriously? Yeah. Wow. So. All I ever see is the blue and then like white. Yeah. Well, I've got some of the white. This stuff, I don't know if it's because of the of it was made this way, or if it's just it so really old. Stacky, or it's, really tacky. It's really sticky, so it's it's good for guys like this that you just want to kind of shove in there, shove on there. And, and 
the white stuff and wrap it up around the base. Yeah, 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 I never ever thought about it. So I got on the reforms. I always just held them. I had paint all over my fingers all the time. I like Pingo the thing Mom me. got you. I talked about it by now. Yes. <laughs> Jump right up. Pingo would kill it this thing. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, the only downside of that is the pins get in the way on occasion because they're taller mm. than the thing. But I like it's it. pretty cool. Yep, yeah. and it holds really well. And if you if you pin it, you can use. You don't have to use the pins. You can use the uh, the plant part. You take the pins right out. So. But I do like the cork too, and uh, there's some really neat ideas that I've gotten off of the Reaper. Yeah, I started trolling. For, I started trolling the internet for stuff like uh, I don't know, late '90s all the way through, looking for stuff on occasion, and I never found anything consistent until I hit Reaper. But then again, I wasn't I wasn't much of a I, I wouldn't jump into un, unknown places too often. Mm -hmm. Reaper, I at least I knew the product, and I I mean, like maybe I'll check out the forums, and I didn't even check out the forums until we got into the bones. Yeah, that's when I get it. I mean, I've been I've been a Reaper customer for years, but I never checked out the form until the first bones, really. Uh, after Ralph Arthur went under, I got into uh, I checked out Harlequin. Do you remember them Harlequin miniatures? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a few from there. I was really disappointed when Ralph Arthur went under. <laughs> well, most of them also existed under Ironwing production. Yeah, I know. I just meant when they, they for a period of time they were unavailable. Yeah, and uh, I was semi-depressed about that because we were Battletech guys. Yeah. And then when they lost the the ability to make the original Marauder and all that stuff, then then we were really demoralized. <laughs> yeah, Battletech's and, next. And that in a nutshell is why I spent so very much on the Robotech. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, the sad part is they won it all. They got they got through all of that and they won the freaking uh, battle and then they ended up fast one in there. Yeah. Well, so disappointed. Well, yeah, next weekend is uh, Fallen, so there's a big Battletech tournament happening there in uh, Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Cool. See? We need to get out more. Okay. <laughs> I have that box full of Battletech figures. Nice. And he has a trunk. <laughs> <laughs> I still don't know who has more on us. I think he's still in touch me out on that. I know I got more McManuson in here. Yeah, especially now. Yeah, they do yeah, grinders all weekend long. I think I was already ahead of them before, so. Uh, oh, yeah, is that the Metal Jabberwocky? Oh, uh, no, that's a Bones one. Oh, is it? It's good. Cool. No worries. There's good detail to it. Not too much green stuff in here. Is, it, yeah. is he leaning forward on purpose, or did you? Oh, uh, that's so, his, his thing. Uh, you can bring him up in that. He can. He could sometimes will sag. Right. So if you decide, you just toss some pins in to make them a little more sturdy. I was thinking about that. I might have my. Uh, I didn't get it. My daughter did, mm -hmm. so I don't have it. <laughs> She's uh, big into uh, Alice in Wonderland and all that. Yeah, yeah. That's why I got that little one for her for her birthday. Still my favorite mini mini paint job so far. Although Bone Bone Mr. Bones too is uh, up there. Yeah, I mean that's just the whole concept of it. Uh, I I like uh, customizing stuff. Uh, as you see our battle max. Yeah. Uh, anybody remember the original rule book from that? There's a uh, Warhammer on it that's turned so mm -hmm. and yep. got us got us play. He made it. Sweet. And it looks awesome. Got hatches open on it and everything. Yep. Hatches on the SRM racks. You know, cool. They're in the battle. Yeah. Don't hurt the bat. Pretty much. Yeah. You don't have a picture of that on your computer there or something? I do not, because that, 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 those yeah. pictures are uh, were lost to the Mac back, way back when. I have the uh, printout that your brother made, or the uh, picture your brother made. Those came out nice. Can I take a quick pic? Sure. They're not done, but they're well, done-ish for now. Got to keep promoing today. Yeah. All right, that is not what I clicked. Yeah, yeah my comes. husband's going out tonight, and I told him I'd be back by the time he left, which means I got to take off. So. Okay.
A little more light on the front. Oh, that's you. <laughs> nice. That's it. Thank you. I'm going to see a picture of you with Jerry. Uh, a couple more. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, there's the one with the visor. Was that, was that oh, yeah. Because she, 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 oh, she did oh, this, too. Oh, did you get her with that? Oh, yeah. She, oh, she did it on purpose. Oh, cool. she had, I gave her plenty of time to take it off. <laughs> it wasn't like, oh, snap. Oh, yeah. So work in progress. Though. I think I'm low on fuel. Yeah. I'm getting hungry. I only eat half a cup at a time. Is this one? Yep. Are you guys down there? Are you getting hungry yet? Can you hear me? A little bit? Good. <laughs> You only had, well, you got to be hungry then. <laughs> it's 5 o'clock. And a drive to boot. I know. Did you, did you talk to John and uh, Petra again since, from uh, Stonehaven? Yeah. Did you talk to uh, Petra and John from Stonehaven again since we last talked about no? I was just curious. I know they were really busy. Yeah, I told them to come. And they, said no. they said it sounded cool, and that's the last I heard. Yeah. And then I grabbed other <laughs> Uh Before Jim leaves, I was going to ask if anybody was interested in doing this more often. I know most of your driving distances, so uh, that might be a deterrent. Uh, we can certainly go to once a month. But yeah. yeah. I, don't know, I don't know how people feel about driving. Well, I'm going to drive. Yeah. Driving where? I'm sorry. To here. Oh. I'm doing this more often. Yeah, I got, I got no problem with that. Well, yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's only about an hour for me. That's yeah? not a big deal. North, North Rochester? No, I'm going to go to the south. Okay, it's on the other side. Yeah. yeah. So, I like literally. Yeah, my son was going to U of R for a while. Right down the back road. I spent a lot of time with him. Yeah. Yeah. And my husband was going to go visit Seth. Okay. Good <laughs> morning. Okay. You're just doing this as an excuse to get miniature, yeah, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was my first bones. I found the 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 Warner bit at the the game store in Rochester, and I'm like, "Is this? That's brilliant!" <laughs> and then I bring it home, and my, I show it to Jen. I bring it out, and I show it to Jen. And she says, "Why'd you buy a penis?" <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> Could've been worse. Could've asked where the batteries were. <laughs> uh, I won't say. Well, I, won't, I won't say it wasn't brought up. I just <laughs> he, did, yeah, he does stand up, didn't he? Say he warned you. <laughs> oh, he's sitting down. He caught me on the third. Oh, okay. <laughs> <Took off slow. laughs> yep. He Oh, let me see this before I forget. Your body. Nice. And so we have leather. This is how you Oh yes. We're gonna go to a to a movie that night in the theater right there. We were in Honolulu, so right. it was kind of the last couple of days before we were flying out. And uh, there was a game store across the street from the. Sweet. Theater. Like okay, we'll go look around. They had all the Reaper stuff there for fifty percent off. Like, well, oh, bastards. Oh, I can't not get the giant worm for fifty percent off. So I, I the metal one. It was all metal then. Yeah, okay. It was pre bones. So I, I flew back with a big bag of metal minis in my suitcase because they were on sale. <laughs> yeah, and my baggage clean and my baggage yeah. costs went up by half. <laughs> we do it by weight here. But TSA must have had fun with our luggage so because I had that stuff. My She's got a bomb. Out. There's a big metal mass in one corner of her suitcase. <laughs> Well, it's still better than Jeff Dunham, so. Yeah. He came back with uh, <laughs> planks of wood because he was buying the, the ventriloquist. And one of his jokes was he flies a lot, and of course he's got. The, yeah. and the, one, the one big bit he did was uh, he, they, they do now, they check stuff with a swab. So he took out peanuts, and instead of like, just putting it somewhere on him, he just wipes his butt with the swab. And of course, the swab tested positive for something, and they took him aside. And according to him, sometimes certain lotions will read as positive. There's no lotion on the dummy's ass. <laughs> no lotion on the dummy's ass. I'm sure he made up something to that effect, but 
I'm sure that something similar has happened to them at some point. <laughs> or in the, in the respect of, uh, you know, holding up the line and somebody yelling at them when they bring out the dummy, make the dummy talk, or something like that, you know. Which, yeah, which he just did. Yeah. <laughs> Oh. So your husband's not into the miniature lifestyle? No. Nope. <laughs> what do you do? Uh, day job. Oh, I write software. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What kind of software do you write? Uh, at the moment, I am writing software for X-ray machines. Nice. So you can get some Cobalt 6 today. Right? No. <laughs> it's not Cesium. Cesium. Well, I, I think it'll be easier. There's no actual radioactive material involved. It's all done electronically. I'm just kidding. Yeah. It's a running gag on TV shows nowadays. Demo stuff having demo, various demo machines not having radioactive material in them. Yeah. Hey, we ran into this field mode down, down there that made us get seasoned through there. Get the place down that explains a lot. Yeah. Like while you go in the dark. Oh wait, it's because you're pale. It's like nine and a half. Actually, okay, after they put in the expensive yeah. free like, motion detector. Yeah. You're not even close to it. <laughs> yeah, if you take your shirt off, you're all right. Yeah. Sadly, yeah. I've seen that. <laughs> Tom, don't give away secrets. <laughs> uh, it's just basketball. He was constantly skins because he liked it. I never saw it yet again. <laughs> Gonna have to do better than that. Oh, oh boy. That sounds like a challenge. That did sound like <laughs> that that did. Did. <laughs> you have to forgive Eric. Uh, he's the person I've known the longest other than my sister, so. Mm -hmm. I ignored her for the most part of her life. All right, you can. It was only when she got older and that it, she could really appreciate my torture that I turned my attention. No, we were class, classic brother and sister right up to high school. Sorry, I just zoned out. I don't know where I went. I apologize. You just pulled cash, <laughs> except you weren't even busy doing something. I did. Something. I'm half asleep <laughs> sitting here for a second. I said, you and I were, were like regular brother and sister for many years until yeah. high school. The only time we got along was like D&D. <laughs> or one of your boyfriends was threatening you. Oh, yeah. yeah was, he had a couple of those idiots. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, well, I'm heading back. It was nice to meet everyone. Same here. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> this is good. Thank you. <laughs> you do my best to do so. <laughs> I have to go as far as do so. Oh, no worries. <laughs> How long did you guys just go? Not long. An hour and a half. Uh, about two hours. About two hours? Is it really an hour and a half? I guess two hours. I just don't know for half hour, apparently. Yeah. I'm is about two hours. Niagara Falls? So I'm still the furthest? Yeah. Niagara Falls. They live in Niagara Falls. They live in St. Catherine. Close to the Falls. <laughs> An intergalactic border? My, uh, that would be easier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, that border used to be very easy to cross. Yeah, the last time yeah, I was over there, the we crossed it. I remember there was a, yeah. a kid, I was probably yeah. 18, oh, going to Toronto, and there was a kid on the train. It was worried because he had some marijuana on him. And he's like, oh, I'm like, listen, come with me to the bathroom. I think it's because of the and then we partook of some, and I said, now just put it back in your oh, suitcase yeah. and don't worry about it. That's, That's the funny. secret. Because <laughs> you wonder, you know? They're not going to walk out of the aisle they check the ticket, and then you go through. There was no border, border check back then. You just went yeah. 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 across. Yeah. 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 Now I think it's the people working at the border, so it took them forever. They were working. Oh, did I say that on camera? It's only four hours, so it probably shut off. Sorry. Sorry. That was it? Uh, and I haven't flown since 9-11. The last time I flew was uh, like nine months before I went out to Seattle for some training. So I'm really looking forward to my first experience. 
Yeah, it's not that big a deal. Yeah. 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 Last year was rough for flying. Just take to, just wear shoes that are easy to Boston. kick off and on. Oh, okay. Don't wear your yeah, heels tied up about. to your knee. Yeah. Oh, I only got to worry if something goes wrong. Do not make jokes when you're standing in the x-ray thing. That's the problem I'll have right there. Don't make any jokes at all through the stereo. It's unfortunate, but I have the problem of laughing at authority. If you don't see me, it does not make you endearing. No. It makes you you annoy everybody else in life. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. and they give you the special treatment. So. Yep. Yeah. I know. Right now we're there. up in Niagara Falls in May, and come back through, come back to U.S. side, and say, "Did you buy anything?" Hell no! Oh, can you see the prices over there? Hey, <laughs> <laughs> turn the car apart. Oh, I know. You can't be serious. You really can't. Yeah. Right. There was a Kevin Smith gag about him driving the bus, but taking the bus to Canada because he can't, he doesn't fly anymore. So they they were they found apparently they found some uh, weed on the bus. They didn't have any. They didn't even realize there was still some on the bus. So he was like wearing his you know uber casual clothing, uh, which involved like you know a robe. Oh, <laughs> so they take him off the bus and they take him into the place and they put him in the in the holding cell, which is this like lined off space I'm talking about, and they just put him in a corner basically. He made him stand here. In his robe. That's funny. And then that was, I mean, there was more to the gag, but it was just funny. But uh, no, our, one of our friends drove over there and had his deep, deep die on, on the bridge. <laughs> That's no man's land, man. <laughs> so he yeah. the, huh? I, I was just saying, yeah. I was going to tell you a story, but I didn't know you were done. No, Sean, Sean drove his Jeep up there and died right on the bridge. It was sad. So wow. <laughs> John, John's brother, Rob, was in town, and he's the wild one of my husband's family, Rob. Yes, because, you know, your, he goes, you know, rattlesnake hunting and stuff like that. Oh, it's yeah. fun. It's fun. A lot of fun he's And he, he wanted to see the falls. He was flying out of Buffalo, so we took him to see the falls. That's around the American side. This is right after 9-11, like really right after 9-11. And um, he, uh, he was like, well, let's walk through there. I can't see him for because you know, you can see him part of on the Canadian side and the American side, right? So, he goes, let's walk, we just walk through there, and then we can see it. And nobody's paying attention to anything. We're just following Rob, like, dumbasses. We walk over to Canada. None of us have what we're supposed to have to cross. <laughs> and we had no problem getting to Canada. We had a problem getting back home. <laughs> it would let us back in. <laughs> I was like, um, yeah, and then they didn't want us to let our us because right our there. kids didn't have any of the birth certificates with them. And so security, John had to have our kids' social security cards in his wallet. I don't know how or why, but he did. That's really odd. Oh, yeah. Finally leave the country with them. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> what are you doing? So, But they let us back. But all we did, I mean, literally, we're only over there for five minutes. I mean, you just saw us walk through. You just saw us walk through. <laughs> That's what Rob kept saying. You just saw us walk through. And he talked to us. Talked his way out of it. It's crazy. We went up there with the Boy Scouts in 1980. Yeah. Took two buses up there with the Boy Scouts. They the Didn't even stop. Went through. First bus went through the guys we were there. Because just be polite with them. Tell them the guys need to play stuff. But they didn't give them a second bus from the kids' morning. One well, the guy comes up on the bus and he says, Everybody here, Americans, you know, we're our bus. So, yeah, 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 yeah. The other bus, one was with. No, I'm Polish. Oh. They caught up with us two hours later. <laughs> That's funny. That was my favorite. Uh, what is it, jamboree? What yeah, we went for that. That was that was one of my favorites. The shower that was the the campus tent, and it was somehow they managed to waterproof the bottom of it, so it was two deep, two foot deep in water. The water was ice freaking cold. It was held up there at the uh, Port George there. Okay. Yeah, yeah. The big fields next to that. The running joke was that there was an old lady that was living in the house that was about 100 feet away from where this thing was, out with the binoculars up through her second story window. That water was seriously cold, though. We, you hear the ice was rattling the uh, pipes. Colder than Barton in the middle of winter? Yeah. I don't even remember anybody taking a shower. A lot of them had to kick and drain down there. <laughs> uh, the Queen visited. 
Yeah, that was interesting. They kept all the American Boy Scouts away from the Queen. My father was along with the troop, and he had this just ratty, ratty ass shirt on. As he usually he, does. Yeah, ratty ass shirt and shorts, and he got within ten feet. <laughs> and the Boy Scouts couldn't go near him. Yeah, the American Boy, they wouldn't let the American Boy Scouts anywhere near That's Mil- funny. Militant group. Beat them all off. Oh yeah, Boy Scouts are militant group. That's funny. We get to use guns. In uniform. Yep. I don't remember anything I did in Girl Scouts except for camping in the trees. We, had tree, we went someplace where there was trees. That would be uh, over oh, a ways. Yeah. Well, yeah. I remember that because Tracy Richardson decided to bring those Astro Suckers pop things in her suitcase, and we went down to the campfire and had a good time. We came back, and there was raccoons in our bedroom eating our suckers oh, no. in our tree house. Yeah. yeah. That was that's we all had, I remember about Girl Scouts. <laughs> we had the one Boy Scout. The rest of the time. <laughs> yeah, I was a, we it's a beaver. We was a bad guy, Cubby. I saw the. Cubby. I, well, I, when I went back for Seth, and uh, they had, I saw in the middle of the night the biggest, oldest skunk I've ever seen in my life. Even elsewhere. It was. Kid, it was white all along the back, all along the tail. There's nothing black up top. His his stripe was the full width of his back. Yeah, we've got uh, one like that lives out in the woods behind the house. He was monstrous. Yeah, I got one living behind my uh, garage in so, my backyard. I'm just gonna go right back in my tent. I get go outside. I'm like, oh, stinky has been here. <laughs> he <needs to> go away. <laughs> my I heard this loud noise out back once. I'm like, I'm not going out there. I do not want to meet Skunky. You guys ready for some food? <laughs> I just left it. You're, right. You're ready for the garbage plate experience? <laughs> and there's feral cats. <laughs> I'm not sure about that. There's, we'll, we'll, there's we'll, burgers and stuff there. Don't worry. Uh, Are you going to Joe's house? Uh, the only thing is he takes. they only take cash. They do have an ATM. Because if uh, you go to Parker's, I'll come with you. I'm not going to eat at Joe's house. What are you going to get at Parker's? Well, that'll meet me fish and baked potato. Oh, okay. Up cool. to you. I, no, I, I mean, these guys want to go to the. I don't care. I'm not trying to force someone to eat. No. I have food. I we can try that wings over park this guy. A lot more wings. I don't think the cash I would not want. They have good food. I know it's been this one's been. He ate a whole bunch of wings. I ate this much. I did eat. You don't have to come, man. It's cool. I do. I need a break. We are you holding on the fort or coming now? Now, wife's going to be along a little while and we'll get something to eat when she shows up. Okay. Oh, cool. So, yes, we're holding on the fort. Who's over here?
Hello. Hello. Well, we'll have to get something to eat here yeah. a little bit. Okay. Um, watching the place. So I'm like, yeah, everybody. Cash had some extra figures he wanted to sell. Yeah. So there's our first dragon. Mm -hmm. It's not even counting what we're doing with Tom. That's the same one as Tom has behind his desk. What? That's the same one as Tom this has behind his desk. Yes. I just spent eighty-five dollars. This puffer, this inhaler that they've got me on, yeah. it's fifty bucks. Yeah. yeah. And she gave me um open it. She gave me a discount card, uh -huh. and apparently, oh, yes. apparently I, had, I should have brought it in a couple days ago because it takes, oh, it's a put together. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, well, yeah, otherwise we'd put in a box. No. Don't do it. Show Megan what it looks like. Okay. Just get it back in the Excellent. Um... So apparently I should have brought the the discount card four days ago before I wanted to because they said the choice always kicks it back and it takes like three days to get out of here. Something's wrong with our phone. Please remind me to, to check it when we get home. I yeah, keep supposedly there's something wrong with our phone. I keep forgetting. Are you being a smart ass? No. I'm or are you being a serial? His mom keeps complaining about it. 
Yeah, I, it goes right into voicemail, and I don't know why. So who's here? Uh, Cash is here, and currently we have three Canadians. Oh. Hmm. Carrie didn't come to me? Oh, Carrie's here too, yeah. Have much to do to finish it, I don't think. Yeah. Going to finish? Not much. I wish I looked like that. All you gotta do is wear those clothes. Ha ha ha. be a lot more hanging out over. I want to ask close theory. Where did everybody go for a dinner? Harper's, I think. Pretty good time today. Mom's trying to say it too. These colleges are freaking expensive, Eric. Mm-hmm. Well, it's better than some other things. Oh man, they are online. What? It's cool. Watch out the camera. Yeah, I'm right in front of it. I didn't think we were online today. I don't think anybody's watching, so you don't have to worry about it. That'd be good, because I said some pretty funky things there on the way there. to kind of compare. Did I tell you? 54,000. Yeah, I made it halfway there I was there. Well, from 12 to 20 when I was there. That's all was nuts.
But they added two thousand dollars for other things, so thirty-eight basically. They had $2, yeah, they added two. They had one thousand to cover like personal things and, personal and, and transportation, which I didn't, I didn't think. Well, transportation I think it's to go to wherever it is. At St. John Fisher, she's allowed to have. I, being in the ROTC program, she is well, allowed to have a car. Yeah. If I, as a freshman, the yeah. freshman usually aren't allowed to get that. Or if you live off campus, you're allowed. Yeah. Which would be. They added a thousand on there for but that's pretty good. Just to be playing around. <laughs> oh, somebody called. That's funny. Yeah, now it's ringing. The phone must have been off the hook. I was thinking that. Hello. So the phone's working now. What happened? Was it off the hook? That was the phone. Oh, okay. All right. What's up? No. That was he going to call regardless? Was he going to call everybody? Okay. But the phone was not working up to, I don't know when you found out that, when did you figure out that that's something wrong? I just pushed off, I had your number, so. Yeah, so, I mean, he could have called me my number, but he, I haven't had a phone call from him. So, I don't know. Do you say what time he was going to call ish? Do you say around what time he was going to call? Yeah. 
So yes. Cool. We got to share a jar. I'm amazed <laughs> I got them in there, honestly. What? I said I'm amazed I got them both in there, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We got a little bit more finishing. Yeah. The weight is on the base, so I can. Sadly, you missed. Them. You missed Jen. Our rock I said, sadly, you missed Jen. One of the people came. And oh, she's from Rochester. Gotcha. You thought she thought you were talking about Jen. No. Like, well, I thought you were too. I was like, she's never here. here. <laughs> she wasn't even here. <laughs> Sorry, if anybody doesn't like fish. I'm trying to get it on the bait now. Touch the dang thing. I don't think I've ever eaten that even before. I forgot about that. They don't have them anyway. One of those people that would eat the divider plate. <laughs> <laughs> a sandwich between two sandwiches. Two sandwiches. Totally yeah. sandwiches for bread. I'd eat that with the with the rest of the sandwich. Um, it's an egg and egg. Yeah. Yeah. Eggs and grilled yeah. cheese. Oh, that's yeah. gotta be good. <laughs> like an eggy BLT between grilled cheese sandwiches. He's like, you know, we have that with grilled cheese sandwiches instead of bread. I'm like. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All think about that. Mm. Are they over cooking potato? Mm. This is gonna be wonderful viewing. <laughs> Oh, he loaded yours up. Mine's got like half. <laughs> right to the top. Yeah. What do you mean, Mary? The ones that we were going to buy? They're over on the. They're over at Tom's desk where I showed you the dragon. Someone's getting mouse wings. <laughs> they're so cute! <laughs> Yeah. How'd the college fair go? Good. It's interesting. It's scary, too. Mm. Learn anything? Yeah, we don't make enough money. <laughs> but we make too uh, much yeah, money. Yeah, we make too much money. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> exactly. We make too much money to get help, which means you don't make enough money to pay. It, no. Well, the trouble is that the price of these college are all scattered actually because they know they can get guaranteed government money no matter how much they raise the rate. And the kids so. can't get out of it now. They can't declare bankruptcy on that yep. loan. That's why I started yeah. going up as soon as they changed that right there. Well, I went to, when I was going to Syracuse, the year I started was 12000 the year I finished it was twenty. And I looked it up. 12% every stinking year. It's 54 year. now. And inflation at the time was, what, 2%? <laughs> They well, complain that people, they can, they time complain time. That people are. Uh, people are going to the junior colleges and then. You get gouged by gas. Yeah, that's why I think you are better off to do that. Before she decided on a major, that's what she was looking to do. But um, now she's kind of got more of a set plan. Mm -hmm. so she's, and that's kind of almost why I would rather Seth go with his mother. Which would be interesting. If that yeah. means he'll go back to school. That would be yeah. worth it. Well, he won't have much choice. So. Well, he just won't go. Yeah, that would be a story. Well, I mean, he's going to have to do something because I can't deal with it anymore either. So <laughs> well, now, that, should do now that his mother will be out of state, it'll be Maybe. easier to I was, that's what I was lay, earlier, that, lay down on you know, an ultimatum. Yeah. As opposed to, oh, I can just go over to my mother's and hide from my father. Right. Or I can go to my father's and hide from my mother. So, <laughs> of course, I'm good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's cool. I'm going to pass him around. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind the egg on him. 
They did a thing. These they have a season menu. The best they put in the regular menu, yeah. and I think it's called a monster truck burger. Mm-hmm. It's like this tall. That's just a, it's a huge burger. I hit him with the blade on the head twice so uh, hard, and it's kind of bloody. Bacon, and yeah. it's uh, pepperoni, like the big pepperoni slices. I got like half. Lettuce, right, tomato. Weird. Yeah, so I've never had it with a pepperoni. Right, right. But yeah, but I've never heard of a whole sure I've never heard of a half size pizza. So, yeah, <laughs> I thought he was just going to be. There's two kinds of cheese. Mm-hmm. And then, he was uh, going to be polite and offer you like, a smaller version than so I So they, they have an informal thing where anything that's on their menu, as long as they have ingredients in the kitchen, you can order. So I said, okay. I figure if, yeah, it's, it's one thing that if I don't eat it all, I can take it with me. That's why I like a pizzeria up in Geneva. As opposed to. I used to live about that now. I really can't. I can get exactly how I want. You know, I go in and I order a sliced tomato. It's just really... What? Sliced meatballs. It's just a thing. Yeah, it's just a weird thing that uh, they did. Rochester decided to make their own. It's not bad. Good. Really good. It's an interesting concept, and I don't... I like the ceiling tile. They're not thin crust. They're so it can hold all that. It's spicy beans. Yeah, it's really good. Just enough kick to it. But that's how I like my burger. And, uh, I like it. I'm going to eat one, good. which is very rare, but if I'm going to eat one, I want it. Too. Eric makes a really good one, though. <laughs> in the band, we had a band of across from one of these pizza places. One of the kids who worked there was a band. Gathering. That would be awesome. He's he like, does, a, bring bu- over he does a great bite. Oh, great. Nice. He brings it over, and he's like, yeah, I put everything on. It has to be ceremonial. Like that, that. You can't, you can't so just have a fire in the center. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 like, they didn't cook right, did it? Yeah, we're like, <laughs> we, have, we have to have the have have work in there too long. Okay, so, right. um, so the more was, ingredients you get out, the less you get of each ingredient, yeah. right. or your pizza's going to grow. Yeah. So it sat in the back table of the band room, <laughs> and then, of course, people got in. So well, I had a ceremony of burning the character. And actually, we're a plan, and I'm looking in the back, like, like eating raw ingredients, like raw. No, the sausage is already cooked. Right. Like, right. Yeah, there's still. Right. My buddy who lives in Texas now, uh, yes. managed to <laughs> piss off everybody, so we said his character is. Uh, my absolute favorite. The, the first, the person, the, the bard with no name. I don't know why I can. And uh, together, we so had a ceremony of burning. <laughs> uh, but um, his, um, <laughs> so, uh, of his character. Teriyaki, French. You never get to play this character again. We were not going to eat scats. That's how much it is. I have I have I have uh, I have a the meat so you know, see the meat uh, scanner. Not, I don't have the scanner, I have the account that I can use on my phone. My husband always does for anything with black and white. document and it'll do the conversion. I'm mad for black and white though. I have, have, I have that just so I can take some of my old D and D stuff. And my fiance I live in Southern California for a while. My uh I just became downloaded everything from Amazon and I have AOL back in the day. That she could find and text and all these all neat things and ideas, uh-huh. and it was all printed. And I just take like, a little avocado with a little bit of lime in it, so, you know, and stir it well, up, and I'm in your store. Right. <laughs> so I have yes, I have tons and tons of papers of all the for me. <laughs> and it never can survive for keeping that pork. Yep. So at some point, I just go through. I always make I make guacamole quite often. My but she appreciates a good burrito. We go eat at some of the local Mexican places, and she's like. That's not how real it's supposed to be. It is. No, no, because I make the real ones. The ones around oh, here are they're not, um, around where yeah. I am. Uh, in Virginia, there was a lot of authentic right. stuff. It's Mexican food. Yeah, we don't have so. Yeah. So far, the parish does pretty well. We used to have a lot of Italian friends. So far, the parish does pretty well. We don't have a Mexican food. The water is pretty authentic. Yeah, I don't do it too much, but it's, uh, is there, yeah, got a Well, there's the Cal- California yeah. Mexican. Oh, right. Right. No, I actually yeah. have the book. The tax yeah, right. Right. I got it at, uh, I got it at game. Exactly. Right. Right. So, you might have been expecting something different. Yeah. <laughs> and then there's Taco Bell, which is disgusting. What's that? No. <laughs> just I got the, food for the whatever the page one is. Never again. Taco Bell and Taco Bell, so. Oh, I didn't do it for a I'm not much into skirmish. Um, we have a kind of and stuff Geneva. like that, so uh-huh. it's not really my forte. I'm much more of a local. Uh, but it's uh, my daughter used to love it though. I was, she, think, like, I was looking for something all, you know, so kind of in order of battle where it wasn't something that would take forever for us to resolve. 
Was no, a, I, mean, um, I know. That's what I was looking for. I actually looked at the uh, third encounter or something. Song, like that. Uh, Counter to the third time, something like that. Both encounters over time. Okay, you know the mascato of the other thing he made. I had as downloaded that and was reading through it. Whole plate was I actually downloaded that. That's what my daughter's plate looked like. It was just like a plate. The original one there. Uh, high on high, a mountain of mashed potatoes. Somebody and then she would get a bowl, a soup bowl, for the grape. Yeah, that was a long time ago. Not, well, so, anyways, she was coming back with this, this elderly couple, uh, this older gentleman goes to her. He goes, Can I bet you $10 for this young lady? I'm not going to eat all of that. So it's mashed potatoes. Uh, or he said $5. $5. And my daughter's like, Really? She's like, Yeah. She goes, I bet you $10 that I'll eat this plate and another one. <laughs> it was she ate both. But anyway, it was, a, it was an interesting read. <laughs> oh, that's more There's a lot, lot of blind information that wasn't carried over in what he wrote. It's funny. I think. Now I'll mean, see what she you eat. Part, she'll you get the, the turkey sandwich with the stuff, gravy on it. There was some implied and then the mashed potatoes methodology that I, didn't, that's all she I wasn't picking up on. <laughs> when she goes out to eat. In, in what he wrote in that little One trick wonder, that one. I kind of wonder if that was something that was... She's the one that just turned 20 yesterday. That's what I was saying. I mean, it's uh, <laughs> a lot of stuff like that gets lost <laughs> just it's every day. Uh, one of the more interesting things I that really sounds good though. Is that <laughs> that so used to, be, <laughs> used to wake up in the middle of the night and so you uh, all together or socialize you apart because I do sections. It's really due to the lack of light. Right. And it used to be a common thing, and nobody ever wrote about it. And then they started finding some evidence of it happening in Europe and, and, uh, and specifically in England and London and so on. That people would get up in the middle of the night and socialize between buildings. Interesting. And, uh, that doesn't surprise me. Well, it, it's. I mean, if you've ever, have you ever gotten into a cycle where you're, you're, uh, you're sleeping in uh, shorter shifts for whatever reason, I, I had to do it for a little while because I was working in the newspaper. And I would end up getting up at. Uh, four, run the shift, I'd be out by two, <laughs> and it's two o'clock in the afternoon and you're wicked tired. Mm -hmm. But then you get the rest of the night and you got kids and you got to watch the kids. So I ended up going home and sleeping for about four hours. And then I'd be up again. So I was sleeping twice a day, yeah. technically. And uh, you get into that shift for a little while and it's, it's very easy to get into that cycle. So I... I I didn't doubt the article. I, honestly, it was it was seemed really reasonable. Is there a, there's actually a name for it where you start where you do exactly that. You sleep in shorter shifts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Couldn't tell you what it is off the top of my head. I think they even mentioned it in the article, but. I mean, I'm an eight-hour girl. No matter what time I go to bed, I get up eight hours later. Oh. Yeah. I don't have to go to bed at the same time every day. You know, like some people have to be really, you know, religiously yeah. 11 to 7 or whatever. <coughs> Doesn't matter. Went to bed at 1, got up at 9. <laughs> how my body is. I sleep very little. I try to stay in bed. Or I try to get up earlier and it doesn't work. <laughs> and, then, and then come Saturday, I sleep a lot. <laughs> hmm? Uh, yeah, I actually got up early, which is probably why I'll, my entire day is going down a little fast. We, we went home early last night. What time did you go? Did you? you mean what time did I actually go to bed? Yeah, I went to bed. Uh, I, 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 got, to bed I watched hour. the rest of Invincible, and then Spider Man came on and that caught me. Uh, I started watching that. Yeah, Jeff was wide awake. I was wide awake. Jeff was playing his game on the PC, and I was, um, or the PS3, and I was reading. Um, set aside there. Yeah. What's a four last night? We we were. We wanted we, to go. We want we wanted to go badly. I am much more. I I am a huge movie buff, and my yeah. all-time favorite methodology going to see a movie is to see it at the preview. Mm -hmm. On a midnight preview. Okay. Because you remove all of the morons, and you <laughs> the get people are who really want to see the movie. I hate going on Fridays. Because you get all the the, the just morons going just going out for the night. Like their dates and whatever. <laughs> and they'll sit there on their phones in the middle of the movie, or they'll talk. I was somebody took a picture last night, but it may not be. I never saw it. Yeah, I, I saw it too. There was a bright flash book. It seemed to come from the right hand side of the theater. But from my perspective, where are you taking a picture of? It's, it's, well, that's friends or something. There was nothing interesting on the screen about the movie. 
Was it a bright flash or was it just that they turned their, no, their phone on briefly? It was a very bright. Maybe flash. they dra- drop something and turn the. Well, they could have left the, the door open too because I think J.D. Abrams was across the hall. So he could just come out. No, it reflected off the inside of the mirror. It's really like a flash. I, I, went, I went to see Fame, sadly, uh, the, the remake, and uh, it was a Friday night. My fiance uh, uh, does the theater with all the buddies. She's interested in seeing it. And uh, in the middle of the movie, I heard phones ring. Watched, I, the light from the phone sh- shine up on the wall. Yeah. If I used to run a theater. And run the movies. And if I had seen any of that, I'd have dragged their ass out of the theater mm-hmm. because that's rude. Absolutely. Being a being a person of paying customers trying to pay attention to the movie angers me immensely when people do stupid stuff like that. I agree. It's it, it comes to the point where I don't tolerate it. Yeah. When I see somebody so, pro, a phone in front of me, I go up and I I call them on it. Yeah. And I, I what I'll do is what I do now is I, I avoid going on Friday. It's just. It's just not, it's too big of a hassle. Saturday night's roughly the same. I have a 71 inch TV. Yeah. I like the theater. I enjoy it. Just buy it on DVD. I love watching the movies repeatedly on TV. But I still enjoy the theater. I went to see the original Spider Man eight times at the theater because it is an experience. I waited 15 years for the distributed rights to the movie to come come clean and get out, I was watching that movie as much as I could before it went out to DVD and stuff. So it was, uh, I saw Transformers the first time, that was a big one for me too. Transformers is on IMAX. Yeah. We saw it on IMAX. Well, now they were really 50 foot tall. We, we, we found out about <laughs> IMAX and saw I Batman again. <laughs> That's true. But still, to me, they were really 50 foot tall. Yeah, well, we yeah. usually do. My money's a little short right now, so I probably won't. Thor would have been good in IMAX. Yeah. My problem now with IMAX is actually my family, who can't see in 3D. Oh, Mom and Jen, yeah. My my mother had LASIK, so she can't see in 3D. She has one eye's near side, one eye's far yeah, side. Yeah, she has her um, eyes different. Uh, she had LASIK in one eye? Both. Was it both? I couldn't remember if she did, did both to fix something. And Jen had a lazy eye and had surgery when she was young. She doesn't have any depth perception. So she has no depth perception, so 3D's out the window, and it actually hurts her head to watch through the 3D glasses. So if I go, it's like i got to exclude half my family to go to a 3D movie. Or see it when it's not a 3D movie. Right. Well, you, you know how 3D glasses work, right? Yeah. There, there, there are glasses available that undo it. Right, where the both lenses have the same lenses. Right. So you can take somebody who can't see 3D or doesn't like. Yeah, that, I have to buy her some glasses. <laughs> Wait, where are they? You still You want to see them? Yeah. Uh, first, so the first one I saw at IMAX was Batman Begins, mm-hmm. and that was just freaking amazing. And then we went and saw Superman Returns, which drew in 3D for like 20 minutes. Right. The scene where he's catching the plane. Mm-hmm. It's like, this is nothing like I've ever remember seeing before in 3D. This is awesome. Yeah, 3D now is not like what yeah. it is. And, you know, it's supposed to be a red glasses. I played with the master. <laughs> I still have pairs. Of, I have some that I got when I when they came out with Google 3D. I don't know if anybody knew that. You can watch, you can have, turn Google to 3D. It's insane. Yeah. I'm a, I was assuming I was talking to several. <laughs> I just have a company I remember. No. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, a lot of people do. <laughs> call you from advice. A lot of good stuff. Yes. I was running on my PC, the NVIDIA 3D glasses for a while. Yes. They broke them with a, for, I have a DLP, which runs checkerboard 3D. It works really well with the glasses. And a couple of drivers ago, they broke the, mm. the support for it. Because I have the original version, so I said, I'm not going to mess around trying to yeah. fix it. Because it's cool, but it's a it's gimmicky. Mm-hmm. Sounds like Facebook. Yeah. Except <laughs> Tomb Raider, uh, the <laughs> Tomb Raider Underworld mm-hmm. came out. And it's stunning support. And it's a lot of going around ledges. And you're looking for a protrusion to grab onto. <laughs> and uh, there's, like, a, like she's on a cliff face. And you're looking over this beach. you know, And it was... 
phenomenal. And that's nice. what I liked about phenomenal. Batman Asylum. And, and you can uh, set, you know, the convergence and the spread so and everything, so you can yeah. set the depth. And I'm a, like I said earlier, I'm, I'm a big uh, explorer. That is Red Dead Redemption. Three. Uh, I've actually Red Dead Redemption is one of those ones. Where I, just, was, um, I sat on the side of the mountain and just looked at the vista. It was like yeah. 14 years yeah, ago. It was just amazing. Maybe uh, yeah. 15 years ago. I didn't get to play. I went to a little computer trade show there, there, and I got these. The guys showed it to me because they're all adapted for me. They're all Xbox. It wasn't the original. Or PS3 years. It's an inline device. We and PS3. Comes yeah, with its own card. I don't have it. I don't have it. Yeah, and the, the, the inline device separates it into two. I have my younger two device there. Right. Yeah. So yeah. You, yeah. It's kind of a big test. Um, it's good exercise for it, though. Sure. And it wires right in. Actually, if it drains any of your energy, that's a good thing, too. I like Mario Bros. I do not stop playing Mario Bros. And I was playing. Well, you're playing Mario Kart. No, I'm playing Mario Bros. Super Mario Bros. Oh, really? Running around. One on one against the a buddy. Four, four people can play and at the same time. The day I turned that world. on, I started whooping and said, yeah. something bigger. Oh, more in the world. All of a sudden, whatever it is. Yeah. Well, right. That's They're amazing. all named roughly the same, really, but they all mean a lot. It's not for every game. It's the one in the red bag. The ones that works, it, it's <laughs> stunning. It is. It's fun. It's I like really that. Nice. And I'm ignoring the Red Dead Redemption because I'm a PC gamer. <laughs> and at Rockstar, yeah, because it's probably their best game. And mm -hmm. And not, not for PC. Yeah. I actually uh, much prefer to play on the PC as well. Uh, never could get into the controller. Well, I use a controller for like See, I can't Grand Theft Auto and all that. I use a controller on the PC. Oh, I, can, I can run stuff way better with more keys. <laughs> <laughs> I just prefer them on the, the stations, and that's really because I got the word to take them all back. Right. Mm -hmm. It's just it's cleaner and faster. I don't think I've taken Batman off. <laughs> 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 looks like I need another hard drive in the array. <laughs> I have, I have uh, a terabyte, terabyte and a half. And my, and my operating system's on a uh, solid state drive, so it's. I lied. I did that's play a game on the PC. Huh? That's what I've got going on my laptop. Yeah. Tom. Oh, God, it's amazing. I'm lying. I did, say, I did play a game on the PC. Yeah. Can you correct? No, not stupid Facebook games. <laughs> no, I mean like a, a game, an adventure well, game. One? An adventure game. The one you used to play on the map when you were in high school. Oh, Dungeon of Doom? Dungeon of Doom. That's the only one I've ever played. Yeah, we're, we're, we're an interesting family. My 60-something-year-old uh, mother plays uh, Resident Evil, God of War. <laughs> and uh, such. She plays more video games than I do. Uh, just getting ready to play Assassin's Creed. Yes. My son's got all of them. He's going to drop them off. So They're at my house right now. Have done soon or call him for help. Uh, Better hurry up. If he moves, he's going to laugh. That was a game. So we go. <laughs> <laughs> well, she'll just buy herself. So is no, we, uh, I love the, That's an actually a great, great one. The God of War series. It's just gorgeous looking. <laughs> I like the look of this Assassin's Creed. That's actually one of the few that I've ever played to. Mm -hmm. I didn't try the first round. Three apparently was obnoxious. Yeah, well, three. Uh, my son played it. He's still losing his mind. Yeah. Okay. It's the same as Diablo 2, except yeah. better graphics. Well, he's been doing the online. Well, yeah, but that's just any of those silly games. Now you have people that are just going maximize the characters, just kill people that are yeah. just learning it. I just want to play games online. Well, that's why I enjoyed Neverwinter so much. It was it, uh, the, oh. the original one. Is that a game you're uh, talking about? Yeah, you yeah. Don't have to hang out on the server. I thought you were talking about Game of Thrones. Yeah, I'm like, yes. No, <laughs> of course they kill off the main I was, I was, yeah, They ran my own, so it was a lot easier. Yeah. You don't even have two servers there. Of course. Uh, and the other one. Yeah, all of our. All of, yeah, we're forever. on fiber. I was like, that's what it sounds like. Right? Changed everything when he started oh, killing off the main characters. It's that sound from the music. Silvery foil one that you put up the yeah. drywall and then put drywall up. <laughs> it's impressive. Mm -hmm. uh, I can't remember them. They're, they're supposed to be three names, but the joke basically goes Joss Wayne, George R. R. Martin, and the Summer of the Rainbow. Walk into a bar, and every character you've ever loved dies for it. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I think Josh was just taking yeah, taking the uh, George R. R. Martin method for the movie, killing off Wash. 
<laughs> I think I think he I think he would never have would have done it if it had been a TV show. And I think he even said that to him at one of the cons where we were on the panel. Because I never would have killed you if it wasn't for the movie. If we were if we were just doing a movie to wrap it up. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if it was the Serenity in the movie. He said afterwards, long line after like, the ten-year reunion. I watched the. I never would have killed Wash if we didn't. He does say that in the. Yeah. 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 And uh, one of my favorite things is watching anything with uh, Alan Tudyk and Nathan Fillion uh, online, because the two of them just riff off each other like. Non stop, and it's awesome. Just to talk, it could be talking about anything, and it wouldn't matter. They did uh, one of the cons of New York City, and Nathan apparently brings stuff from his house to auction for a charity while he's talking. So he'll, he'll talk, and then he'll start time to talk to something else off and pull something out of the bag. And he pulled out like t shirts that he got from various cons and signed it. You know, the auction. I'm going to give the money for a charity. He pulls out something that Canadians apparently had that we don't. That was some kind of uh, cough medicine. I think so. It tastes horrible. Yeah. yeah. Like that. <laughs> but it works. Uh, yep. So he pulls that out. And he's like, he's like, you know, I don't think anybody like here knows what this works. is or anything like that. But, so Alan goads him into drinking it first before auctioning it off. Opens up the package, takes a hit, makes a face. Now you have to. And it's Alan. And Alan's like, yeah, and everybody's in the crowd going, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he takes a hit and makes the worst face ever. And then they auction off this drunk out of bottle of cough medicine for $135. After both of them signed the box. <laughs> it was interesting. Uh, and then... Uh, all kinds of interesting stuff happened. I came out of that bag after that. Uh, a pillow, a little pillow that he got from some girl that he made it. And he says, I know that you probably wanted me to keep this, but it's going for a charity. He talks to the camera. Because <laughs> he's assuming everybody's watching. Good <laughs> assumption. It is. He's a very smart man in regards to social media. i got to give him credit. Uh, one day he'll knock uh, Katy Perry and Justin Bieber off the top, maybe on Twitter. <laughs> Yes, please. God, I was happy Katy Perry knocked Justin Bieber off the top. I like Katy Perry. She seems genuine. Yes, yeah, we do not like Justin Bieber. Well, that's true. That's why I think a lot of people cheered when she knocked him off the top. Yeah, I'm so, so sorry. I think, I think a lot of people just jumped on her uh, bandwagon just to get him off the top. Yeah. I'd push Ashton, Ashton Kutcher back this up to get Justin Bieber off there. I don't like Ashton all that much either. Yeah. I know he's a very smart man, and I know he has some really impressive degrees. I just never liked anything he's ever played. <laughs> oh, as an actor? Huh? As an actor? Yeah. So you don't like that 70s show? No, I don't like him in that 70s oh, okay. show. I'm not a big fan of the show. It was okay. I, uh, I remember I remember a little bit of it. I was only like eight. <laughs> so. Oh, the 70s? Yeah. yeah. I don't remember the 70s. Well, I don't remember the 80s. Yeah. Most of my memories, too. I lived through all of them. You missed a year. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I said I lived through all of them. You missed a year. Yeah. What? I was born in 69. So ah. I, I, I'm joking that I lived through all of the 70s. I missed uh, three months. Yeah. Yeah. I remember mom trying to put me in these black and white checkered <laughs> bell bottom <laughs> pants and I never wanted to wear them. I hated them. April 2nd. I saw okay, so it was four in the morning. morning. I'm a couple of days older than you. But... I, I remember Smokey and the oh, Bandit. Yeah. I saw that. Second. We yeah. saw it at the drive in. No, we saw it at Smith Opera House. Was it really? Well, oh, I we saw remember. Star Wars at the we drive. We saw the drive. We left you in the car when we went to see them. <laughs> <laughs> Back then, you do that stuff. <laughs> Leave your kid in the car while you went inside of the store. Oh. <laughs> Somebody just did it recently. We pulled in. Yeah, now it's news. Uh, we pulled now into. Yeah. I, I pulled into Wegmans over in Geneva, and I pulled through. And it, it just as a cop car pulls up parts in front of my car, I go, oh, God, what the hell? And apparently there were two kids in the car next to my car. 
all by themselves. Got out of the car, went into Wegmans, bought some stuff, came back out, cops still in front of the car. I can't get out. That happened to me in the summertime in the same way with the parking lot. Yes. Yeah. Because it was the summertime. I think it was you and me. Oh. Maybe it was you and me. Did we go in and get stuff? It was after it was no, after left in the car. It was after the man of steel. So we went in and got yeah. stuff. Okay. Then it was, yeah. yeah. We're like, wow, that's such a I was there quick. Yeah, but I happened to be true. Oh my god. He's telling the story, I remember it. <laughs> no, I've never done acid in my life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, almost, I brought a really small drill. You want to I don't need any drill. It's just, it's, it's, uh, it's, you don't have, need to drill with these guys. Oh, I know. You just shove them in there. Just shove the guys in there. Yeah. Like that. That's right. Well, that's what he's supposed to be. He's definitely more rampant in the metal version. Yes. It's an unfortunate side effect of weight and plastic. I have not pulled out Death Fleet to look at and see how bad it is. It depends. Some of them are okay. I did boil almost everything I had right off the bat. I was not trying to test Fleet. Which is the one with the two feet, like the two feet? That's Yeah. You have to boil the feet because he doesn't stand up unless you get them. Right. Well, I had to, I had to, I had to mess with the worm gear quite a bit to get it flat. Really? After putting it together, get his legs all in the same plane. Uh, but I got it. It just took a while. And then the rest, anything that's left, left will just be glued, forcing it. But he was, uh, he was uh, the right, the 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 back. It was like one, two feet were down, back front. That you know, the one back was still up, and of course the left one's not even happy. So, and then my wings are turning pink. <laughs> from either the sunlight from the basement or or what, but they're a rosy color. I don't miss it. I gave it up over here. So oh, that would be something good to post. So. I, uh, I I did take pictures of it for the uh, when I was I'm contemplating putting it on this face. And I shot this and I put him on on it. And I, I did have to ruin the, the what I plan to do for the on top of this. Or just I'm gonna do I want it once I get the uh, heavy split. I'm gonna do the diamond plate in a hexagon on top of this. Inset a little. And then I got some uh, gears and stuff I'm going to put on the ground, and it looked really sharp. And I did that in graphics on, on in my in my uh, blog, and then I thought it was the form, maybe not. Uh, uh, I will pull it up because I can do that. That's. I thought it was an interesting idea. I, I, this was at the farmer's market in Ithaca, Siberian Elm, she marks them. And uh, she had a ton of different wood, which was awesome. And, uh, I bought, How much was that? I got this and this one, which is a burl that uh, was on the outside edge and they cut uh, core holes mm -hmm. out of it. And, uh, this is a really cool frame for me. I thought this would be a really sharp one for one of the dragons uh, to repose them on. I like that. And leave this open, mm -hmm. like just like it is. Did she sell them like the dragons or the the, the hill giants? Just kickstart with the three on that. Too. Yeah, yeah. I have, nice, believe, nice I have a ton of giants. I love, I love giants. Did she uh, sell that stuff in like larger quantities or? She sells a ton of that. She sells so much stuff that I couldn't even talk her into talking about a website. <laughs> I, well, I, mean, like, I can't afford to have more effort. About with the dragons. What's you that? Buy, like, that last piece, you buy, like, that same thing. No, there, there's, there, so there's you, just, like, everything's relative. Okay. This, this was in a, this was in a, a, a random bin. Uh, she makes checkerboard pieces and you know a lot of consistent pieces, uh, but she also does these. This is not perfectly round. Oh, that's that's what makes it, I was just yeah. going to say that's yeah. what makes it interesting. And I'm I'm always looking for this type of stuff. What she does have that would be awesome for a diorama uh, uh, where you're just literally putting a figure on it, not doing anything to it. She has these like almost like a former driftwood type pieces that she's really done up nice. Uh, even stuff and burn. Uh, some really <laughs> great stuff. I, I wanted to take more pictures, but she, um, it was a 
was the end of the, <laughs> end of the market and I couldn't stick around. Uh, God, it's so long ago that I... It's just the mirror. Come on, it wasn't that far away. Uh, oh, there we go. Mm -hmm. I actually <laughs> talked about the, these, and uh, uh, so I took pictures of either side of the burrow piece, the side where you know, and then I just set, this is just him set on it, and then I put uh, talks about the happy cuckoo stuff, and then there's the the diamond plate that I did. Nice, sweet. This is just a graphic. Yeah, a representation. Yeah. Of that. But still, I mean, that's my thought anyway. And then he'll be on that. I'm probably going to go a little more in, uh, just to give it a little more lip, so they can see more of the wood. And then uh, maybe take a shot at actually doing a the word the uh, wood burning. I have the kit. To help for it. Cool. Uh, I think it'll look really sharp. Hey, Mike. But it's going to feature. You can see. Just a slight difference in this color, and it's a little more prevalent in, in, in person, but he is, his wings are turning rosy. Interesting. You can see where the shadow is. Yeah. That is rosy. Yeah. It's a little more obvious there. I didn't, I didn't color correct as much, but it's, uh, it's, it's turned quite rosy over time, sitting on my shelf in the basement. On both sides of the wings? Turning? Yeah, yeah. So it's probably it's not, not just light. light. It's not just the light. Might be the environment. I don't know. I'm gonna. I, I'm gonna take a good shot of it. Uh, I didn't have a good background at that. That's why I printed those things. I know it's not the um, bone feature. Do you know if the heated didn't bend at all? Like they've done it. Yes, but they bend randomly. Yeah, they don't. They don't <laughs> bend. Anything's better than what they're. The they don't bend smoothly. Right now. Um, I almost would go uh, Brian's way and cut them up. Yeah. Even if you're keeping the sail, you could cut here. And reposition it like that with a pin fairly easily, yes. yeah. and just get the bend of the big piece. Yeah, it's just that would be something. Something. It's just so. I was plain. when I put this together, I'm like, I shouldn't have glued this. That's exactly what I said. I shouldn't totally. glued this. I should have repositioned the wings out. Yeah. And then Is that the one that the wings are up like this? Yeah, it's yeah. all. It's just yeah, it's a single plane. It's and I can't see the picture, but I know I what you're talking it. about. I really don't mind it, but I it, it could be so much more interesting. Yes, it can. And uh, I I love what Brian did with it. That's yes. Great. Yeah, with the fabric. Yeah. But I could probably achieve the same thing with uh, with what's there after you cut the pieces out and warping them a little. Yeah. So. Mind you, once you warp them, they won't come back in correctly because then they're not. Well, if you're, if you're warping them as you bend the whole thing over, you should be able to get a cupping motion as you warp the piece. I agree. I'm not going to necessarily going to get it right. <laughs> <laughs> the edges don't fit back into the frames. Right. There's nothing close to that. Right, but I'm bringing the frames. Oh, <laughs> like it's sorry. I'm, yeah, no, I'm, I'm, well, you, when you yes, Spanish, go Spanish. We don't hear Spanish. <laughs> Up and dance it. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of things you could do with it, and I'm almost tempted to go up and get another one. Uh, there's a big one right by the uh, little bridge in the cooler on the other side. Is there a second thing there? Uh, no, because uh, the uh, garbage people have just taken it out and put in. <laughs> yeah. She, they, uh, the people, the cleaners are uh, big on green, but we don't have the ability to recycle on this back lot. I know that one. <laughs> yeah, they won't come back here. Probably not too hard to turn around. No, the trucks drop off beer and stuff here every day. I watch the Snapple truck do rounds right here in the parking lot around cars. He'll zip in here at full speed. Yeah. Come around the corner of this building over here on the right. Zip up right up almost to the windows. Right on by. Swing all the way around out by this building over here. Not stop. <laughs> if he doesn't see a car coming, and just literally go back out and then start backing in. Wow. All the way back to where he's dropping it off, which is all the way to the other oh, end. Yeah. 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 The recycle yeah. truck is much smaller. <laughs> the garbage people get back here. It's the same stupid truck. Government workers. It's a, no, it's private. <laughs> it's uh, We Care uh, Recycling, and they don't yeah. want to come down here. Because they don't think it's worth water. Don't they want more? We care. This is down it's stupid because that means that all of the bars on this side have to load all of those boxes and empty bottles up front to the street and have it picked up up there. So now every recycling day you have a wall of trash for recycling right. in front of the building in what is supposed to be a tourism town. Dirt. 
think the town would do something about that. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, the tourism town wants entity. to be a tourism town isn't even open on Sunday, so. Yeah, that's so weird. I'm sorry. Do you have a retail I'm business? in favor of closing everything on Sunday, Sunday, but I think everything should be closed on Sunday. That's my opinion. Let's go back. <laughs> Not particularly religious, but I just think that's a good family day. <laughs> but you're, if it's a tourist area, it should be. Yeah, because you know, families are struggling. That's, that's how you, that's, if that's your primary business in the region, that's what you should be doing. If that's what you're striving for as a community, is to be a tourist trap. <laughs> Seriously, they want to be the they they're they're, they're they, they got to be known goal. for the, the they want to be skinny atlas is what they yeah, want. Yeah, well, they really that is that is their ultimate goal. They're, I have to say, nice I do go to skinny the atlas. <laughs> the, oh, there's the, something uh, there, you know. Being the first place of women's rights and all that jazz that they're taking credit for, and they have the women's hall of fame and all that up here. We need more antique stores. Because of just stop and check a drop off <clears> to the women's rights hall and all that jazz. None of that matters because nobody's going to come back to this place and look at any of it. Because they're not open when people are off. Right. <laughs> and if you're not open, I mean, I could, close on Sundays during the middle of winter. Great. You're not going to get the traffic. Middle of summer and you can't get anything but food downtown? What the hell? Aren't most of the restaurants in that close on Mondays and stuff? Well, that's just, I think that's almost a regional that's thing. A lot of them do on Mondays example, to have that day off. Yeah. Except for when they close on Tuesdays. Right. Gonna, well, some of them do that, too. Right. <laughs> hours when people are working. Yeah, well, that always bugs me about stuff that I need to get done, and they're closed by the time I get to them. You know, I don't, I can't leave like working to do this. What the hell? Yeah, yeah all, all the government shuts down while we're at work. Yeah, right, after we're, we're all done with work. If everybody's working exactly the same. Uh, <laughs> when, when do you make time to go and actually be a customer? Yeah. Well, lunch, shower, lunch, shower. And people yeah. are talking about. <laughs> but yeah, but then everybody's on lunch. People that's why are talking I can't about get to how the Americans are going to go back on Friday. Sunday's off. You know, it's the women's rights in this country. They uh, had some consultant come in. They were going to come up with a plan for St. Paul's. And the plan they came up with was. Let's have all women-run businesses in town. Great thought, but uh, you now just eliminated three quarters of your potential businesses you have in the place. So what do you get? You get a whole bunch of you either shop. get you either get a, a That's pretty much you either get a, a woman-owned shop and she actually participates, or you get a woman-owned shop and it's run by a guy. <laughs> <laughs> Which, by the way, gets you a ton of tax breaks. So. And grants and whatnot. No, there's a giant building across the canal. The gray one. That should Beautiful be a building. big brewery. It is a. Let's make it up a huge. It is the Seneca Knit Mill, and it you used to make a large portion of the socks in this <laughs> canal at one point. <laughs> Do you see that? That's cool. Oh, the building over there. <laughs> yeah, it's great. The building next That's to us nice on this deal. side here was an outlet for that. I've been God craving beer socks. for a couple months now. <laughs> it is now owned by the Women's Rights, by Women's Hall. Oh, yeah, I can't tell it No. It is. I was standing at the bar. On the verge of falling They've got like 20 taps across it. They want to make it their new home. Bunch of rats, huh? It's never going to happen until the person buys it. When my husband works across the They can run like that over there. It will never happen until they raise $10 million to just replace the infrastructure of the building. Except I'm not even talking about decorating the place. All but. I'm talking about being able to walk around in there without it coming down on your head. And kids go used to go in there and they still try to get in there and party. That's just dumb. <laughs> so we put a fence up around it. They they uh, plywooded all the windows, painted them black, and then not too long ago they put this big blue tarp over the building to save it from more damage. You, you go when you get, come down again, it's dead. The tarp is gone. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. I <laughs> it was, this was four years ago when we first moved over here. <laughs> there are tarplets. There. Is there? Oh, I didn't yeah, even yeah. know. There, it, it looks Tarp like a, a proper <laughs> a proper ruined building now. Yeah, it does. Gaming. And but it would make they a really just, <laughs> it's just unfortunate. And they, and but they have such high dreams that they keep turning down these people who have ideas to help them. A uh, very uh, wealthy gentleman uh, who uh, yeah <laughs> came to Seneca Falls to 
Adler's uh, summer home. Uh, has a ton of ideas. Uh, pays me fairly. Paid for my first run of bones, uh, to be honest. Oh, he's the guy who. Yeah. Anytime he has. He comes up here. Every time he comes up, he's a hundred. He pays you in hundred. Yes, nice. yes. Those are the guys that all I from stuff. Every time he comes back up here, okay. he's bought something new, and I have to integrate it with the house. Yeah. So you know, I gotta totally go overpays play you. with it. Sorry. What's that? So he totally overpays you, but that's all right. No, I I, I know I see guys who get paid way more than that. Uh, an hour. Let's not talk about how much I should pay be paid. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not talk about should. So. Uh, he proposed an idea. He's made seven or eight businesses that have been successful and sold them uh, for millions of dollars. If you wonder why you get uh, uh, advertising in your bills now when you get the mail, uh, he's the one to blame for it. He's the one to blame for it. He sold it to Sears many, many years ago. Gave him the idea, sold it to him, and now everybody in the world does it. <laughs> And you can blame you can blame Dave, Dave who has a, his, who calls his place Camp David. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, he came to the women's hall, and said, "I will do this, this, and this, and I will all have this amount of money, and we will promote this to the nines." They shot him down. The board for the Hall of Fame is a resume point for women across this country. Nothing more. They don't actively participate in anything. The director has has no power, uh, so it's really there's really nothing to it that they can move That's forward with. That's pretty common, though. I mean, our library yeah. board was like that, and then our new director came in, mm -hmm. and she's cleaning the house. Yeah, and, and that's the thing. You need somebody who's able to step yeah. up and start doing stuff. They can carry out their duties. But as long as they keep hiring or they keep promoting these people to president of the and and the and the chairman of the, of the board. That don't care. All they're looking for is that resume bullet point. Yeah, yeah. Nothing's going to move forward. So until Oprah gets elected to president, it might actually happen that they get a Hall of Fame and move it over there. <laughs> That'd be resolution number pick a number. <laughs> Everybody gets a Hall of Fame. Well, it's uh, it's just un unreasonable expectations of some of these things in our culture these days. Seneca Falls is an interesting town. Wallaloo has some interesting stuff to it. Everybody around here tries to lay claim to certain things. Wallaloo is the first place of Memorial Day. First place of women's rights, first place of Memorial Day, and the trout fishing capital of the world, all within five miles of each other. The world. I'm You're not going to just say the nation. The world. I know you guys. That might sound funny, but my brother in law, Rob, when I was telling you, he's an angler. He's an angler. Yeah. For fishing. I didn't go fishing. He's an angler. It's not unfounded. I'm and just saying it's funny that he thinks he thinks the fishing here is phenomenal. Oh, it's he great. It's like wow. And they have you a know. big, huge trout tournament every year, like trout tournament every year. And, I know. I keep trying to and, entice uh, him to come visit, like come visit the trout but, tournament. You know, the, the <laughs> being the lake trout capital of the world, really. Well, I'll great. tell you what. We got you on Brook Trout. Over there, we got Fish Creek, aptly named. Hey, I, if we if we had if we had a perfect fish to be called on anything, it's carp. <laughs> <laughs> Holy carp! <laughs> the population boomed when they connected in the Seneca River to uh, part of the Montezuma wetlands. Oh yeah. And all that stuff that feeds off comes off the wetlands into the river. It, the carp literally sit there waiting for it. <laughs> it looks like salmon going up river, but in a really small area, yeah. so they're just jumping into each other. <laughs> yep. They're ugly, but they're a lot of fun. <laughs> they're fun. <laughs> what would you get for dinner? I'm staring at you. Oh, I thought you were talking to him. No, I know what he got for dinner. Him, you got I got extra fries instead of one You got extra fries? Well, I you got didn't get extra fries? I got two sides of fries, and you got the, side, the fries and macaroni. I have a new big macaroni sale again. Well, I know you're a big fry fan. The hash browns are really good there. Yeah? So the experience was interesting? Yes. It was very good. Nick Tahoe's is a place in Rochester. Yeah, yeah. that's worth, what it was. Worth, God, the name of the worth stopping at. Not, not just because of the, the food, but because of the odd experience. It's, it's a standing in line to get your order. and It's a really interesting place. 
That is the best part of town. No. <laughs> In fact, you said most Rochester. This is true. I was going to say all of Rochester. I'm, 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 that's just really not bad. Awesome. I'll get your figure. You can paint. There's room. I got spots. I'll put you right in front of the camera. There we go. I hit it for a moment. It's probably over four hours of a run. Camera's still on, but the actual feed is done.